tonight, the Naval Academy drops anchor in DeKalb, Illinois. It's the Midshipmen and Northern Illinois Huskies live on ESPN Classic. On a cold night in DeKalb, Illinois, much is on the line. Temperatures in the 20s for possibly the final game of the year for Northern Illinois. Tonight, the Huskies take on the Navy Midshipmen, fighting for their postseason dreams. Thrilled to have you with us on a Tuesday evening with my partner, Sean King. I am Eric Collins, and folks, Northern Illinois, they currently have a 6-5 and five record. They would love to win tonight. That would virtually assure themselves of a bowl game. Now, on the other hand, the Naval Academy, they already are committed to the Eagle Bank Bowl. They'll play that on December 20th, but they're not content. They're changing things up. We're going to see the debut of a new starting quarterback in Ricky Dobbs. Outstanding young man. You got the opportunity to talk to him this week. One of the most engaging, enigmatic young men that we've talked to all year. I'm excited. He's excited. All his friends and family in Douglasville, Georgia, glued to the television tonight to see him in his first start. Brings up athleticism to the position, a big play ability to that position in this offense. I don't think Navy's had that type of player, so I'm excited to see how he handles his first start. Well, Ricky Dobbs is going to be the starting quarterback of this triple option attack, and when they run the triple option attack well, really no one runs it better <laughs> in the country. They're currently second in rushing yards per game in the entire country, almost 300 yards each and every time out. You're right, 295 yards a game. Option offense is about two things, effort and execution. Well, Navy does it consistently, and they do it with aggression. Northern Illinois head coach, Coach Kill, said you think of the rushing attack, you think of a passive team that's just trying to control the clock. Well, they're aggressive. They create big plays because of their effort and their execution. And Coach Kill definitely thinks that it may cause him and his defense some problems tonight. Yeah, Coach Kill, you're talking about Jerry Kill, the first-year head coach for Northern Illinois. He is hoping against hope that his team can win today. That would get them to seven wins, virtually assure themselves of a postseason berth. As here come the Huskies. The reason they want to get to the bowl game, obviously there's a lot of prestige, a lot of fun things go along with bowl games, but they want to get extra time for that redshirt freshman quarterback they have, Chandler Harnish, they think is really going to be special when his four years here are done. And Eric, anytime you have a young quarterback, what you want to see over the course of a season is improvement. Offensive coordinator Matt Limegrover thinks that if he continues to improve at the pace that he's at now, he'll compete with Central Michigan's Dan Lefever and Ball State's Nate Davis to be the elite player at that position in the MAC conference. And you know the MAC's had some outstanding quarterbacks, so I think that's a big compliment for where he started as opposed to where he's at right now. Well, whether whether or not NIU makes it to a bowl game. And no matter how you slice it, this will be their final home game of the year. And it's the final home game ever for 21 seniors who are finishing up their eligibility with the Huskies. And when you talk about the senior class, you got to talk about number 51, who has been so special for four years, defensive end Larry English. Yeah, when I played quarterback and we had to go up against a guy like Larry English, I used to tell the offensive coordinator, he's a problem. We have to account for him in the Robert Mathis, Dwight Freeney mode. He is a threat to be and wreak havoc in an opposing offensive backfield. What a night. He wants to show the offensive scouts that not only can he get after the passer, but he can also stuff the run. He is a big time pro prospect. A lot of people think he's got a chance to be a first day draft choice as he has put up fantastic numbers in his four-year career. There's Jerry Kill, dressed for the weather. First-year man, spent the last number of years down in Carbondale, Illinois, coaching at Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois this year without him. They are making it to the FCS playoffs, one of the top 16 teams. They are playing this weekend against New Hampshire. And there is the head coach for Navy, also in his first year, Ken Niamatololo. He is currently 6-5. and five. Of course, he was the longtime offensive coordinator under Paul Johnson. Well, Paul Johnson was the head man at Navy. Now, Paul Johnson, obviously, at Georgia Tech, doing good things down in Atlanta. And Coach Neil Motalo, he definitely talks about the influence that Paul Johnson has had on him. And, you know, he believes in this option attack, and he believes that it can be successful at the top levels of college football. And Paul Johnson is showing the country that that's true because Georgia Tech's had an outstanding year. And that's one of the things I want to talk to you about over the course of this broadcast, about this option offense. You think it's got a chance to really just take off across the country, not just at the service academies, but possibly in other programs 
maybe not the top 10 programs in the country, but other top teams that are fighting for bowl bids each and every year. I definitely do, Eric. I think it's going to eventually be like the spread. And as the game progresses, we'll get into it a little bit. Navy will kick the football off. Back deep in his own end zone is Ricky Kreider, and Kreider, the sophomore, is going to take it out. And Kreider is brought down, just stoned at the 15-yard line. Coming on and making the play in the, before the 20-yard line is Jerry Haber. There's the starting quarterback for Northern Illinois, Chandler Harnish. He was really the surprise starter all season long. They expected to have Dan Nicholson under center. Nicholson was the starter last year, but he's had a shoulder problem, and Harnish has really stepped in as a redshirt freshman and grown by leaps and bounds so far this season. Ricky Kreider, the deep back behind Harnish, and Kreider has the football. Kreider crosses the 20, gets out to the 25. About a nine-yard carry on first down. Jeff DeLiz with the tackle. On top of your screen, you can see the starting offensive lineup for Northern Illinois scrawl across. And one of the things I want to watch early in the football game, Eric, is can Northern Illinois dominate the line of scrimmage? One of the things that Notre Dame, who defeated Navy in their last contest, was able to do was wear that undersized Navy front seven down. And they're playing without one of their key players tonight who's out with injury. So it'll be interesting. Can they stand up against this NIU rushing attack? And Matt Nishak not going to be able to go. He's got a bit of a knee problem. On second down, it's Ricky Kreider trying the right side. Clint Sovey comes on and makes the stop. But it's going to be enough for a first down for Northern Illinois. Sean, this is just the second time these two schools have ever met on the football field. This is a home-and-home -home series. Last year, they played in Annapolis. That go around went to the midshipmen. And the midshipmen, pro, they, they pose a, a unique problem because you don't see that option offense week in and week out. So if you're not prepared for it, they can definitely explode it and create some big plays. Four receivers in the game. Harnish wants to throw for the first time. Spits it out, complete to his tight end, Reed Cunningham. And Cunningham steps out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Let's take a look at the Navy. Defensive alignment coming to the top of your screen. There is a true freshman who they are in love with. Just saw his name cross the top of the screen. Jabari Tuani. He has got eight and a half tackles for losses, three forced fumbles. He is the best freshman defensive lineman that defensive coordinator Buddy Green, who's been in this business a long time, has ever seen. And I think that's a tremendous compliment. And definitely put some pressure on the young man during his four years and maybe he'll live up to that. On the carry, Ricky Kreider, his best squirt of the night, gets across the 50, a 13-yard pickup. Finally bringing him down, Emmett Merchant. And right here, you see this Northern Illinois offensive line, they're just getting on guys, and they're pushing them out the way in. You know, Northern Illinois has a trio of backs there, not just Ricky Kreider, but Chad Span, Miko Brown. They rotate them in, and all three of them are capable of getting through the line of scrimmage and making things happen if you can get them to that second level. I like this Harnish guy. No sleeves. Tough guy. <laughs> Kreider still seven yards behind Harnish. Gets it again. His fourth carry on this opening drive. Gets to the 44-yard line. A pickup of four. Ross Pospisil with the tackle. You know, I was never a no sleeves guy when it was cold. You know, I wasn't worried about being tough. I wanted to be comfortable. And you Tampa guys generally are a little bit... Uh, a little bit weary of the cold. <laughs> Fullback Connor Flayhive goes to the bench. But I have been impressed with the way Chandler Harness, the quarterback from Northern Illinois, has improved. And one of the things I want to watch tonight is how accurate he is with the football. Can he get the ball to his wide receivers in spots so they can do something with it after the catch? Second and six gives to Kreider again, and he's in the secondary, down to the 30-yard line. Pick up a 14. And this is something that we're going to have to watch the entire game, Eric, because you know this Navy defensive front is undersized. And what Northern Illinois likes to do is they like to run the football. And if they can get these running backs all the way to the safeties before they encounter defenders, it's going to be a long night on defense for the Navy midshipmen. Good opening drive for the Huskies. Hardest shot of the shotgun on first down. 
Kreider back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. In case you're doubting about how cold it is, it is 28 degrees. That's a kick on. That's going to go down. Not much wind, just six miles per hour. Forecast. I think they hit it. Cold. <laughs> I was going to say, if you take the two off of it, that's what it feels like in the booth tonight. It feels like it's eight degrees. Sean, we were here a couple of weeks ago in Northern Illinois. played Central Michigan, a game that went into overtime. That game, we had a whole bunch of fog to deal with. I don't think we'll have to contend with that this evening. Four receivers in the game. Harnish has his pass picked off. Picked off at the 10-yard line. Rashawn King, the senior from Raleigh, North Carolina, nips that drive in the bud with a leaping grab. And it's always the same thing. And I know Coach, you know, head coach Jerry Kill is explaining the channel right now with those young quarterbacks. You know, they do something good, then they come back and they, and they turn the football over. We'll see if Navy can come back after the break and capitalize on the turnover. To me, comfort is, is being home, being with my friends, being with my dog, Sam. But when I think of Wrangler, I think of something that, uh, that's going to last. You know, you just think of something that's just going to be there and be there and be there. I guess the word would be reliable. Wrangler five-star premium denim jeans. Built tough to keep you comfortable. Wrangler, real comfortable jeans. Enterprise is picking us up. Sounds expensive. Pickup's free, Mom. This car for the weekend looks expensive. It's 50% off, Mom. You ought to rent me a car every weekend. Mom. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. It's game time. Skybox is right up here in section la -de -da. How's everybody doing? Can anybody tell me what inning we're in? All right, boys, we take it back to High Life. See, the High Life is about sitting in the sun and, and watching your favorite pitcher get lit up. Take him out. <laughs> Man, they can't even hear me through this glass. Come on, boys. Need to smell me a hot dog or something. Just know I'm alive. Woo! Let me pass out some High Life. Made from fresh tomatoes living happily together with spicy green chilies. The bold flavor of Rotel gives your queso a kick. Spice things up with Rotel. Monday, the day 73% of paper jams occur. Usually on a page that's pretty important. So you open flap C, press the tab, and check tray 3. But nothing's there. Like when you tried to print that email of the top 10 things you'd like to see Wonder Woman do. But with Monday comes Monday Night Football on ESPN, where Jones, Drew, and the Jaguars take on Johnson and the Texans. So cheer up, Q-Clogger, because the view from your couch is always unobstructed. Rashawn King with the interception, his third of the season, and that ends the Northern Illinois opening drive. It was four minutes and change, but no points because of the athleticism of King. And one thing you never want to do is you never want to let someone else's mistake become your problem. He wanted to throw the ball down the middle of the field to Reed Cunningham, and he didn't. He got engaged by the linebacker. When that happens, a young quarterback has to get to his check down. Don't force the ball down the field and turn it over. Here's Ricky Dobbs under center and his first snap as a starting quarterback, and he fumbles the football. I think he jumped back on it. He did. Wow. Kind of an inauspicious start in the starting debut for Ricky Dobbs. Well, that's just nerves, Eric. You're so excited to finally get a chance to get out and play. And, you know, there's a lot of ball handling that goes with the option offense. And it's one of the things as a young quarterback in this system that, you know, you just have to get more comfortable. And he'll do it the more that he plays. He'll get more comfortable with the ball handling. It wasn't actually the snap. It was on the, the exchange, the mess point, with the fullback, Eric Katani. This is Katani, left side. Good gain on second down, a pickup of six. It'll bring up third down and manageable. All right, Sean, talk to me about what Ricky Dobbs is dealing with right now. We've seen him come off the bench, have impressive performances against Southern Methodist, Notre Dame, among others. But this is his very first time getting the start. It's a new experience for him. You know, he's generally had the opportunity to sit on the side and get a different viewpoint of what the defense is doing tonight. He's going to have to learn it on the fly. And, you know, I think he's up to the challenge. He's excited, but he's also a very gifted athlete and player. On third down, keeps it himself, gets close to the first down marker. We're going to have to see how this one shakes down. That was right 
where he needed to get, and it looks like the, the mark is generous. They're going to put the ball close to the 20-yard line. That's going to be enough for a first down. You know, as you see at the end of the play, Eric, I think he does a good job. You see when their contact is initiated, he falls forward for an extra two yards, and all good runners are able to do that. You know, they don't get hit and lose yards. They always try and get an extra yard or two. It's a sign of a good runner. Dob, 6'1", 194 pounds, just a sophomore. Another handoff to the fullback, Katani, his second carry. This time only picks up one. Navy currently 6-4. and four. Not only do they have tonight's game, but they also have a game next Saturday, about 11 days' time, in Philadelphia against the Army Black Knights, and then they're going to a bowl game. They'll be playing in the Eagle Bank Bowl against an unnamed opponent, probably someone from the ACC, but that's yet to be decided. That game is December 20th. And that Army-Navy game will have a little emotion involved in it, I'm sure. It's always fun to watch. Second down and nine. Dobbs keeps it himself, picks up one. It's going to bring up third down and short. Northern Illinois' defense coming across the top of your screen. You just saw Larry English. Larry English, the all-time leader in sacks and tackles for losses here at Northern. He's a tremendous athlete at that defensive end position. And in the last five to seven years in the National Football League, they found a place for guys who are specialty guys. I call guys that can come in and put pressure on the opposing team's quarterback. And Larry English is definitely one of those type of players. Let's see if he can pin his ears back here on third down and eight. This is an uncomfortable situation for Navy. They don't like this third and long. Dobbs wants to throw. Now tucks it under the arm, and he's going to have the first down and more. Oh, look at these feet. Spins out across the 40 to the 41-yard line before David Bryant brings him down. They needed eight. They got 19. And, and when you have that kind of player, when you have that special guy quarterback, when things break down in the passing game, Eric, he can create. He can create first downs for you. He can extend drives. I think Ricky Dobbs fits the mold of that kind of player. So a fresh set of downs. Dobbs has accounted for two first downs all by himself. Little pitch out. Bobby Doyle gets across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Melvin Rice with the tackle. Sean, I want to talk a little bit more about Ricky Dobbs. He's getting the start, even though there's not anything dramatically wrong with the offense for Navy. We talked about it in the open. They're currently second in the entire country in rushing yards per game. Almost 300 yards on the ground. They, they've already got a bold bid. They're six and five. Why do you think they went to the chain? Well, I just think you have a special player in Ricky Dobbs. He's a young man who brings, like I said in the opening, athleticism to that position, Eric, that is uncommon. You know, and it's something that they want to take advantage of and give him some experience because I think the sky's the limit for this young man while he's at Navy. And Dobbs cheats it himself and barrels across the 50 all the way down to the 40. And this is actually the third different starting quarterback that Navy has had so far this year. Of course, they began the season. Kaipo Noah, Keiaku, and Hada was the starting guy. And, and as you see him right here, he watched the explosion, and he's able to get to that second level. See, when I played Eric, I got tackled by a <laughs> linebacker. You would have thrown it. <laughs> you would have faked it and thrown it. And look at those numbers. 295 yards per game, second only to the Wolfpack of Nevada. Dobbs already with 38 yards on the ground. Time Katani gets to the 35, and a flag comes in. Today's referee wearing the white hat, Tom McCreech. They sort this one out. Explain that one for me, Sean. What it, happened there? It, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I want to commend the officials. I watch a lot of football, Eric. And, and the last two weeks, the officials have done something that I think is definitely needed on, on in the college level and the pro level. 
when they've thrown a flag, they've gotten together and discussed the infraction before enforcing it. And a couple of times I've seen them pull the flag up, but I think that's a big step, and they're to be definitely given credit for doing that. On second down, Dobbs looks to his sideline. And before the snap, a whistle took too much time. Timeout, Navy. That's their first timeout of this half. All right, they beat the system. Navy calls timeout before they were guilty of the delay of game. We'll take a timeout. 5.45 remaining, first quarter. Navy trying to finish off a positive drive here. Traverse. Seats eight passengers and offers an EPA estimated 24 miles per gallon highway. It's not a myth. It's everything you've ever wished for. And then some. Please drink responsibly. Can you believe that we can text, email, surf the internet, even update your Facebook status right from the palm of your hand? At Sprint, we want everyone to experience all of the incredible things a 3G phone can do on a big 3G network. The wireless revolution continues. Come join us. Introducing the Samsung Rant for $49.99. It's the fully loaded phone on America's largest, most dependable 3G network. Philips Norelco Architect, the shaver with a flexible head that pivots and rotates freely. So now you can easily get a close shave, even on the neck. At eHarmony, we pre-screen each and every member for you to determine your matches based on compatibility. Get started now with your free personality profile, and we'll start matching you with other compatible singles. The best part is, you can review your matches absolutely free. Aren't you curious to see who you'd be matched with? Log on today and review your eHarmony matches for free. eHarmony.com Navy head man Ken Niamatololo looking on. and It's been a tough first season for him. One season under his belt, three different starting quarterbacks. The most recent one, Ricky Dobbs. Second down and five. Trying to keep this drive going. It's been impressive so far. Ricky Dobbs with 38 yards on the ground. Give to the fullback, Katani. And he's close to first down yards. Right at the 30. It'll depend on the spot. Alex Kuba with the tackle. Thursday night's college football primetime features a crucial game in the BCS standings as the number two ranked Texas Longhorns host the Texas A&M Aggies. In a virtual tie, the BCS rankings with Oklahoma. The Longhorns need a big win to stamp their spot in the BCS championship. College football primetime presented by Applebee's as part of Rivalry Week presented by Samsung Mobile on ESPN Thursday night at 7.30 Eastern. And Eric, I think that will definitely be a motivated Texas team, not to just get a win, but to look impressive on national TV in attaining that victory. Give again to the fullback, Katani. And Katani picks up a couple of yards on first down, call it gain of maybe three. And when you watch an option-based offense like Navy has, and you see those short carries, you can never discount the fact that those carries, even though they're only going for three, four yards now, Eric, those carries start becoming seven, eight yards later in the ball game. The option offense forces the defense to be assignment perfect. Everybody on defense has an assignment. They put pressure on you every play to be exactly where you're supposed to be at all the time. Navy run 11 plays. All of them have been run so far. Dobbs the pitch out. This is Greg Shenago down to the... Yeah, about the 21 yard line, maybe 22. Pickup of six. It's going to bring up third down and short. And to reiterate my point, they ran the fullback the last two plays. Now you fake the fullback. You get those linebackers to converge. Now you get your tailback on the edge, one on one with the safety. 
and that's what the running game is all about. No matter if it's the option attack, if it's a traditional eye set, it's all about getting your ball carrier to that second level where he's one-on-one -on -one with the other team safety. David Bryant had an equipment issue. He's on the sideline right now. He's the leading tackler for Northern Illinois. Third down at two. Huskies trying to get off the field. Dobbs keeps it himself, and Dobbs again gets the first down with his legs. That's the third rushing first down achieved by Ricky Dobbs. All of them coming on third down. And actually, Sean, we were talking to the coaching staff for the Naval Academy, and one of the reasons why they decided to go to Ricky Dobbs is Ricky Dobbs is actually the best passing quarterback they have hasn't needed to throw the football this far. If you remember last week, he was the quarterback that engineered that comeback against Notre Dame, made some big time passes late in that ball game. This is a very impressive drive. This being the 13th play of the opening drive in your first start. That's pretty impressive. Remember, this began with a fumbled handoff, the very first play of this drive. But it was recovered by Navy, and now they still got the football. But a timeout needs to be called. The play clock winding down, and so trying to protect this quarterback, Navy calls timeout. in one word. Awesome! 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 Holy awesome! Wait for it. Awesome! Oh, rated PG. See it in 3D now. You can't touch us! After dismantling Texas Tech, the Sooners face another must-win game to keep their national title hopes alive. Saturday Night Football on ABC. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Saturday at 8 Eastern. College football lives here. You look like you're about to show off your team pride by stapling Reggie Bush to your wall. Watch out. But did you know there's a better way to put your passion on display without ruining Reggie's life, not to mention the Saints' chances this season? You can get a fathead. A fathead is a life-size wall graphic that won't damage your walls. I can't say the same for you, real-life Spider-Man. And there are over 500 fatheads to choose from. I bought my daughter and husband each a fathead. Then I figured, what the heck? I'll get myself one, too. A fathead transforms any room of the house. Oh. Yeah. And fatheads are so durable, you can put them up and take them down as much as you want. I use mine for protection. Whatever your passion, there is a fathead for every fan. <laughs> Bigger gifts are better gifts. Go to fathead.com now and get a gift that will make their holiday. Navy continues to run their way down the field. Scoreless game, but Navy knocking on the door. This drive began on their own nine-yard line. Already 13 plays, all of them, have been runs. Ricky Dobbs under center. Pull back Eric Katani behind him. They give it to Katani, and Katani forward to the 15-yard line. Well, Eric, when you only have 70-some attempts <laughs> up to this point in the season, I don't think many Teams have spent a lot of time defending the pass when they prepare for Navy. I mean, they're trying to figure out a way how to stop this Russian attack, and it's proven difficult, as evidenced by them being number two in the NCAA in rushing yards per game and averaging 295 yards a game, and, and that's impressive. New fullback in the game is number 38, Kevin Campbell, replacing Eric Katani, who limps off the field. Dobbs keeps it, backs his way, loses the football. And Navy recovers it inside the five. Serendipity. How'd they get that football back? <laughs> he took a shot. Well, quarterback Ricky Dobbs definitely took a shot. If you watch at the end of this play, he's gonna get stood up by Larry English, and then someone's gonna come in and, and hit that, put that helmet right on the football, and that'll do it every time, Eric. It was David Bryant who forced the fumble. Right there, number four, and Sean White, Johnny on the spot, picking up the loose ball and keeping possession for the midshipman. 
And that's good coaching, too, because so many times you see guys try and follow the fumble, and they go squirting somewhere else. That's a good job by Sean White. They told us Ricky Dobbs is exciting. He is. Two fumbles, both of them recovered here in this opening drive. Dobbs gets down to the two. Tackle made by Tim McCarthy. And yeah, there have been two fumbles inside the 10 yard line of both tens of the 10 yard line. <laughs> Jerry Kill is saying, I want my defense off the field. In Northern Illinois, quarterback Chandler Harris, he, he's trying to harness, he's on the sideline like, it seems like I threw an interception an hour ago. <laughs> and it's been the 15th play of this drive for this Navy offense. Eric Katani back in the game. Pitch out left side. Bobby Doyle wrapped up and brought down at the five. Larry English, number 51, the big fella. And, and Eric, you know, this is one of the things that I love about Larry English. He's known for rushing the passer, but you see him fight off the block and not only get to the ball carrier, but get the ball carrier on the ground. You know, I think he's an extremely versatile athlete, and he's going to be an asset to someone's NFL football team next year. English just down the road in Aurora has been a fantastic player for four years now. Third down and goal. Dobbs pitches it out. Tackle made in space. No chance for Sean White to get anywhere close to the goal line. And NIU, they hold. And that's an impressive stand by the Northern Illinois defense. They're kind of a bend but don't break mentality on that drive. Gave up a, a lot of plays and a lot of yards, but at the end of the day, going to force Navy to attempt a field goal, not give up a touchdown. This field goal attempt is going to come in the second quarter. What a drive. This drive has been over 11 minutes knocking on the door. It's going to be an 11 minute and change drive for Navy. We'll see the field goal attempt when we come back. Ladies and gentlemen, Magic 76ers. Coverage begins tomorrow at 7 Eastern on ESPN. Now you can own a piece of history commemorating the day the world changed forever. Be one of the first to reserve historic victory. The commemorative plate honoring the election of the 44th president, America's first African-American commander in chief. His confident smile and kind eyes are an inspiration to us all. This priceless work of art features a triumphant president-elect surrounded by the American flag and spectacular celebration fireworks. Historic victory is crafted of fine porcelain and richly accented in 22 karat gold trim. The election date and inscription, Change Has Come, are displayed in gold text on this first issue collector's plate. The back displays the seal of the American Historic Society and documents the historic electoral and popular vote totals on election day. This certificate of authenticity from the American Historic Society promises you'll own a collectible of the highest quality and integrity. It comes with a display stand for any desktop or curio case or proudly hang it on any wall. This issue has been strictly limited to just 65 firing days. After that, the die will be destroyed forever. Due to the unprecedented demand, there is a strict limit of two victory plates per color. I never thought this day would come. And now we own a piece of history. Our generation has spoken, and now this special treasure will be cherished as a prized family heirloom. For generations to come. Yes, you can own a piece of history authorized by the American Historic Society with bonus display stand and certificate of authenticity for the first issue price of only $19.99. Call now. Have your credit card ready when you call 1-800-920-1592. That's 1-800-920-1592. Remember, this issue has been strictly limited with only 65 firing days, and there's a strict limit of two victory plates per caller. So call now, 1-800-920-1592. That's 1-800-920-1592. Call now.
Monday, the day 73% of paper jams occur. Usually on a page, that's pretty important. So you open flap C, press the tab, and check tray 3, but nothing's there. Like when you tried to print that email of the top 10 things you'd like to see Wonder Woman do. But with Monday comes Monday Night Football on ESPN, where Jones, Drew, and the Jaguars take on Johnson and the Texans. So cheer up, Q-Clogger, because the view from your couch is always unobstructed. Start of the second quarter, Jerry Kill, the head man for Northern Illinois, looking on as Navy trying to get on the board. This is going to be waved off, whistled before the snap. Sander Gosser whistled for the infraction, so it's going to make it a slightly longer field goal. Impressive drive. Hasn't it been shown? Even if they score no points, just to go 80 yards you and take 12 minutes. Especially considered it's a, a first-time starter at quarterback. You're able to change in the field position like that and hopefully, you know, generate some points for your offense. 27-yarder for Matt Harmon. Currently 14 of 16 on the year. Make it 15 of 17. So, the Mids would have loved to have got a touchdown, but taking all that time off the clock and still coming up at three, not so bad. It's definitely not, and it keeps your defense that's undersized and has had a tendency to wear down later in ball games. It keeps them off of the field. Now they come back on the field, even though it's a little cold, <laughs> they probably wish they had played more, but yeah, that keep, uh, keeps some of that energy in reserve for later in the ball game. One of the reasons why Navy changed their quarterback was the last time they played two Saturdays ago in South Bend against Notre Dame. No, I apologize. That was actually uh, Indianapolis. Uh, two weeks ago when that game was played, Navy was just one for 13 on third down conversions. On that drive alone, Ricky Dobbs himself ran for three first downs on third down. Well, that's what happens, Eric. When, as an offense, the, the more you continue to improve your athleticism, you know, you get great athletes in space. You know, they're able to make people miss. They turn four-yard carries into seven. They turn 12-yard carries into 15 and 16. They turn 20-yard carries into touchdowns. The more athleticism you get, the they extend drives for you, and, and that's what's happening so far tonight. Just to clarify, I'm kind of all over the board. The game was actually in Baltimore. Well, you got it right the third time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 18 plays, Sean. 81 yards, 11 minutes of game time. Wow. Every coach in America will take that drive. John Teague kicks it off. On the one yard line, coming out of Ricky Kreider. Loses it for a moment, picks it up, and gets out close to the 20 yard line. Well, Saturday afternoon on ABC, Tim Tebow leads the Florida Gators against perennial rival, Florida State. Some will see Maryland take on the Boston College Eagles. College football presented by Best Buy as part of Rivalry Week, presented by Samsung Mobile on ABC Saturday at 3.30 Eastern. Check your local listings for the game in your area. Well, midshipmen about 800 miles away from Annapolis, but they are well supported. There's a training support center, Great Lakes, that has provided 600 sailors, 50 staff members to this game tonight. Also about 800 midshipmen have made the pilgrimage as well. So there's a decent, decent support group. If you take a look at that uh, section of the stands. They're dressed, it's still standing. They're the only people standing for the most part in this entire Husky Stadium. And this Navy football team is well supported. You know, if you've ever been to a game at Annapolis, you know, they have one of the most unique and, and impressive environments in college football. And they travel well when they go on the road. Harnish spits it out, gets it to Marcus Perez. And Perez, their big play guy, gets to the 26-yard line. Ross Pospisil on the tackle. A pickup of seven will bring up third down at four. And this is a good job of Marcus Perez of being patient. He gets the ball. He allows Reed Cunningham to set that block up for him and, and gets a, a good play, gets his team in a manageable third down. Yeah, Sean, they do not want to go three and out. Can yeah. you imagine it, being on the bench for that long? That defense on the sideline is definitely pulling them to make a first down. 
Four receivers in the game for Harness. Redshirt freshman from Bluffton, Indiana. And it's a design quarterback draw. Harnish has the first down and a bunch more out to the 35. That's one of the things that they think has a chance to make him special. Now, I do too, because he's a dual threat at that position, Eric. He's a competent passer right now who'll get better, but he's also a good enough athlete that he can make plays for you. He can move the chains with his feet when things break down, or in situations like that, you can de design a run for him, and he can make the play successful. Harnish, so far this season, has passed for seven touchdowns. He's run for four more. Another quarterback run. This time try on the left side. Jabari Tuani. First man to grab him. Whistle still has it blown. Pick up a four. Harnish a big boy. Listed at 6'2", 210. Tough to bring down. Yeah, he's a big player. You know, one of the things I never wanted to do is I never wanted a coach to call running plays for me when I was a quarterback, especially if it was under 30 degrees. <laughs> Everything gets magnified when you're cold. You know, when you when, when it's warm outside, the blood's flowing, you get hit, it doesn't hurt so much. When you're cold, ah. Ryder in the backfield alongside Harden. Simple pass, complete to the tight end, Cunningham. Once again, Northern Illinois driving as they cross the 50. And, and Eric, you say simple pass. It seems like a simple pass. What I like is a young quarterback threw an accurate football. He threw a catchable football. A football that Reed Cunningham could catch in the flat, not break his stride, turn up the sideline, and get an extra seven yards after the catch. And when your quarterback can start doing that consistently, and I think Chandler's getting to that point, that's when you know you maybe have a special player. And I think that's why there's so much excitement around Northern Illinois football about Chandler and his two years left here in the cap. Out of the shotgun. And off goes to Kreider, who has no chance at all to even get going. Lost a yard. And we saw two weeks ago, right here at Husky Stadium, Northern Illinois playing against Central Michigan. They didn't play particularly well in the first half. They were trailing big going into the second half, but they came out and they caught fire in large part because of the play of their quarterback, Chandler Harnish, who really stepped up out of the locker room in the third quarter. He did, and he did some things down the field throwing the football that I had not seen on film. And uh, that had to be an exciting you know, thing for the coaching staff of Northern Illinois as they went over that game. Even though they lost, they saw some things that they could definitely build upon from their quarterback. Another easy pass completed to the tight end, Reed Cunningham. Pick up a five. Cunningham now with three catches on the day. And Jerry Kill and his offensive coordinator, Matt Leinfelder, they didn't have a problem at all comparing Harnish to some of the best quarterbacks in the MAC right now. They think he will have a real opportunity, if he progresses and wants to, to be in that same category as Nate Davis, as Dan LaFever, the upper echelon quarterbacks in the MAC this year. And you just saw a quick shot of Matt Leinfelder. Need to get to the 37-yard line. Harnish with time, passes low, is it caught? Greg Turner got underneath it, and it is a catch. It's going to be short of the first down, I believe. Uh-oh. Well, that's... They're going to try and hustle the... Yeah, this isn't going to work. It's going to be an incomplete pass. Any doubts with you, Sean? And the previous two completions, you know, Eric, I talked about and I stress accuracy. And, and that's what I mean. As a young quarterback, Chandler's improving, but he still has to continue to get better because on third down, you have to make put this pass in a place where the receiver can catch it so you can convert. But we'll see after the break. Do the referees overturn it? Right now, 3-0 ball game, Navy in the lead. Three of man's proudest accomplishment, the wheel, fire, and the tailgate. Wait a minute. Mm-mm. Something ain't right. See what's going on.
What are you grilling? Ostrich burger. Ostrich? And you gonna wash it down with Miller Highlight? Most certainly. You guys are five yards short of common sense. Can I borrow this beef? Yeah, take it, over. Take it. Pay attention. Now watch your hair. Smell how good that is. Yeah. Your beef and high life and you're in. You with me? Now you're living the high life. Thank, Thank you. you. Ostrich. That's not a burger, that's a bird. The Philadelphia Phillies have won the World Series. Celebrate with Sports Illustrated's exclusive championship package, including the official 2008 World Series DVD and SI's limited edition hardcover commemorative book. Relive the Phillies' postseason heroics with these two must-have gifts, featuring amazing MLB Productions video and SI's incredible writing and photography. Go to SIOffer.com or call now to get both free with your paid subscription. 56 issues for only $1.59 an issue. Save 69% off the cover price. Use your credit card and get this officially licensed signature baseball honoring the champions, the Philadelphia Phillies. Designed exclusively for SI, it features the simulated signatures of the entire roster and includes a special display cue. Go to SIOffer.com or call now to get the official DVD, the commemorative book, and the signature baseball. Go online to SIOffer.com or call 800-346-7200 right now. After dismantling Texas Tech, Heisman hopeful Sam Bradford and the Sooners face another must-win game to keep their Big 12 and national title hopes alive. Saturday Night Football on ABC, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Saturday at 8 Eastern, part of Rivalry Week presented by Samsung Mobile. College football lives here. Northern Illinois head coach Jerry Kill, none too pleased right now. That last official review didn't go the way of the Huskies. Ball obviously hit the ground. Good call made. Incompletion, so it's now a fourth down and seven. And the punt team will have to come on for Northern Illinois. Senior Andy Dittbenner will kick it away, averaging close to 39 yards per boot so far this season. Long at 54. Tries the rugby style kick. And it's going to run down the right sideline out of bounds at about the 15 yard line. Punt of 30 yards from Dittbenner. So, Sean, the offense is going to come back on the field for Navy, and Ricky Dobbs is going to get another chance to put his own brand of excitement into this game. Well, right now in his first start, one drive, 18 yards, a field goal. That's pretty impressive. He gets to come back and see if he can duplicate it. You know, I'm sure he'd like to end this drive with a touchdown. But, but a good start for the young man, and you can see why the coaching staff at Navy is so high on him and his ability and his potential. 18 plays, 81 yards during that opening drive for the Naval Academy. Give to the first man through, the fullback, Eric Katani, gets out to the 20 yard line. Pick up a five for the senior from Cleveland, Ohio. Look at that. Northern Illinois on the season, leading the MAC in rushing defense, allowing just 130 yards on the ground. 81 in one drive alone, in one quarter of play. Well, Eric, then when that option comes to town, as a defensive coordinator, you cringe. You don't get much sleep because you know it's about assignment football. And if your defense isn't assignment perfect, then the offense, that, that uh, option offense is going to have success. When a, a traditional rushing attack comes into town, you can be more physical than them. You can dominate the line of scrimmage. You can do different things to take away that running game. But that option, it's about one thing, and that's being assignment perfect. In terms of the defense, do you have enough time in the week? This is a, a nine days between their games. But is there enough time in the week to get ready for the option? Well, you would, of course you'd like more, but you know you dealt the hand you're dealt, and, and you know it's coming. You know one of the things I thought interesting was Northern Illinois said. Dobbs keeps it himself. This has been a common theme on third down quarterback runs for the fourth time. Dobbs picks up the first down by himself. And, and good job of Ricky getting the first down for that offense, keeping those chains moving. But one of the interesting things was Northern Illinois says that they've been working on Navy for two weeks. Every time they've gotten a chance, they've done a little option in practice, had the scout team do a little option because they know how difficult it is with just one week to prepare for this attack. But in practice, can you really recreate what Navy is doing with that option? Give again to the fullback, Katani. Gets out close to the 35-yard line. Well, I don't think you can match the execution and effort 
down in and down out, but you can at least familiarize your defense with the tendencies and the scheme specific things that the option attack presents. You know, and speaking of this option, you know, Paul Johnson, who was a head coach at Navy last year, has moved on to Georgia Tech, and it was effective this year in the ACC. And I think there are a lot of teams around the country in the bigger conferences who could have success running this offense. Dobbs upended as he crosses over the 45-yard line. David Bryant on the tackle, but not before another pickup of seven to move the chains. I mean, Eric, you, you, you tell me that why wouldn't a Mississippi State or a program like that go to this attack and, and give them that much more of an opportunity to not just be competitive, but to win week in and week out in a conference, a Baylor or a school that's not necessarily one of the elite teams in a big conference, but those middle of the road teams. And maybe that negates some of the talent differential that, that they fa have when they face the top teams in their division and conference. Pitch out to Shinego, and Shinego gets out across the 50 to the 46. I guess that's a, a point we need to consider a little bit further. And as you see right here, one of the things that this option that I told you, Eric, you have to be assignment perfect. The minute you take the fullback and the quarterback, the way they pitch it, they get on the edge, first down Navy. As a high school kid coming out of Tampa like yourself, would you have even considered being a quarterback in an option system? Would that be something that a big time recruit would want to do for four years? Well, I wasn't a good enough athlete, and I didn't like getting hit, so I definitely did not consider running the option. But what the option does is the same thing that the spread offense does, Eric. It gets your players, your best players, the ball in space. That's what option football does. Of course, the fullback, he's the guy that's going to you know, be in the middle doing all the hard work, but those two wingbacks and that quarterback, when they're tremendous athletes, they get the football in space. Every great athlete, if you can get him in space, then he can make dynamic plays for you. And when you make dynamic plays at the top levels of college football, you'll get the opportunity to go on to the next level. Do you think enough people find option football exciting enough to be the the offensive choice at some of these other programs? Well, well, at the end of the day, wins and losses is what counts. And people find winning exciting, no matter how you do it. Dobbs wants to throw for the first time today. Has a man. It's caught inside the five, down to the four. Greg Shinego. We've seen him with a couple of runs on the wing. This time gets behind his man for a pickup of 32. And I think that answers your question, Eric. This offense can be exciting. Here you have the quarterback throwing a very accurate football to a a wide out running down the middle of the field. And this is two impressive drives in a row by Navy and their first time starter, Ricky Dobbs. I mean, you can see why this coaching staff is enamored with his ability. Pitch out, Shinego again. Tries to split the defenders, gets down to the one. Pick up of three. And not only have they been good offensive drives for Ricky Dobbs and Navy, but they've been absolutely demoralizing, you would assume, for Northern Illinois. <laughs> yeah, they don't pass the 75 pass attempts. We mentioned they're second in the country in yards per game rushing. They're second to last in the country <laughs> in yards per game passing. Well, Eric, you can't be good at everything. Dobbs calls his own number and scores the game's first touchdown. Man, this looks easy right now, doesn't it? <laughs> When you execute it, you know, it puts so much pressure on that defense every play. And if they're not assignment perfect, I know I keep saying it, but when you're not assignment perfect on defense, this option attack is going to be successful. That last drive took uh, 11 minutes off the game clock. This one, a little bit more efficient. They take four minutes and 33 seconds off the clock. But instead of the field goal, they cash in for the touchdown. Matt Harmon try and make it a 10-0 lead for the mids. Snap, no good. Ball is loose, picked up by the holder. And unavailable. Jared Bryant, starting quarterback earlier this season, mishandled the snap and is pushed out of bounds. So it's just six, not the seven that the midshipman would have liked. Timeout on the field. Northern Illinois trying to get that offense in gear. They already trailed nine to nothing. Phillips, Norelco Architect. The shaver with a flexible head that pivots and rotates freely. So now you can easily get a close shave, even on the neck. Enterprise is picking up.
is up. Sounds expensive. Pickup's free, Mom. This car for the weekend? Looks expensive. It's 50% off, Mom. You ought to rent me a car every weekend. Mom. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Made from fresh tomatoes living happily together with spicy green chilies. The bold flavor of Rotel gives your queso a kick. Spice things up with Rotel. The hotter the hot, the colder the cold, the greater the demand, the more you need Duralast. Batteries built to exceed the need. at Lumber Liquidators? At most flooring stores, your floor makes a few stops before you get your order. Lumber Liquidators cuts out the middleman. Come on in. You'll find the quality hasn't been cut, just the prices. Right now at Lumber Liquidators, get Bella Wood pre-finished solid oak flooring with a 50-year warranty starting at $350 a square foot. The same floor home improvement expert Bob Vila has in his home. Hi, I'm Bob Vila. I like the quality of the flooring so much that I've put it in my own home. Supreme Horizontal Natural Bamboo Pre-Finished Flooring as low as $199 a square foot. Comparable items are sold elsewhere for $389 a square foot. And Dream Home Laminate Flooring starts at only $0.69 cents a square foot. Plus, you can floor now and pay later because everything at Lumber Liquidators is available with no down payment. No payment, no interest for 12 months. For the best deals anywhere on hardwood floors, visit any location, LumberLiquidators.com or call 1-800-HARDWOOD. Final home game here in DeKalb, Illinois in the 2008 season. And so far, so not so good for Northern Illinois. The Huskies trailing Navy by a score of 9 to nothing, And the story so far has been Ricky Dobbs. He's been phenomenal. He's been outstanding. He's picked up third downs for this offense. He's been accurate when asked to throw the football. He's been outstanding in his first start tonight for Navy's offense. Yeah, Navy so far this season, for the most part, has been having trouble on third down. One of the reasons why Ricky Dobb is getting the start is because of his athletic ability, able to make something out of nothing. He's done it so far. He's done. They've controlled the time of possession. They've controlled the line of scrimmage. He's done everything you would want from a young quarterback. Navy four for five on third down conversions. All of those third down conversions have been on quarterback runs by Dobbs. Kickoff picked up by Ricky Kreider. And Kreider gets out to the 27-yard line. And, and right here, you just see some of the things that Ricky Dobbs brings to the table. And I think one of the things that he does well that's overlooked sometimes is taking throw the football. And right here, finishing off the drive. Didn't get a touchdown the first time, but completes the second offensive possession with a touchdown. You have to be extremely impressed by the young man so far. I know he has a lot of family and friends down in Douglasville, Georgia, who are watching the broadcast, and, and they have to be excited because right now he's representing. He's had two interesting phone calls in the last week. Doug Williams gave him a call. The former quarterback with the Washington Redskins, Tampa Bay Bucks, called him, wished him luck, and he had an interesting chat with you too, Sean. <laughs> he did. He's a, a very engaging, enigmatic young man. It was definitely a, a joy to speak with him, and you can just see the enthusiasm, the desire to be successful, to do something positive with his life. It's almost contagious, you know, so much that Navy says anytime that they have big-time recruits that come to visit Annapolis, he's definitely the young man on that team who they want to represent their football program. And, you know, I talked to him before the game on the field. He was talking about his conversation with Doug Williams, who is doing an outstanding job in, in administration down in Tampa for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who've been successful this season. He said that was definitely a dream come true, knowing that Doug Williams is one of the guys that came before him, the trailblaze that allowed him to have the opportunity to play quarterback at this level. Miko Brown, two freshman with the carry. There's a shot of Ricky Dobbs. Another interesting thing about Mr. Dobbs, he told us his life goal, in 2040, he wants to be the United States president. He did. That's what he said. We actually asked him. I said, wait, because he specifically said, you're 2040. And I said, why 2040? Well, ah, I'll probably have accomplished enough by that point in my life, and I'll be ready. <laughs> I'll be bored. I'll be ready to serve. So I'll just move on to the White House. <laughs> on first down, Harnish designed rollout. As a man, Marcus Perez with the grab. And for the third consecutive drive, Northern Illinois crosses midfield. 
And this is a good job right here. I like the play call. You fake the inside run, get your quarterback on the edge. Now, what I like is the accuracy. You see the football. That's an easy football to catch. Here. Now he has to just duplicate that and become consistent with his ball placement. I think that's the next step that Chandler Harness has to make. And those receivers love you when you make it easy for them. Pick up a 13. Nico Brown in the backfield alongside Harnish. And Brown has the football. Looking. Ball and he brought down Nico pickup Brown. of one. Wyatt Middleton tackle with the tackle Wyatt number Middleton. eight for Navy. And this is an important drive for Northern Illinois. You know, they, they need to put some first downs together and give that defense a little break because right now they're having trouble stopping Navy's option attack. So they need to get on the end sideline right now on the drawing board trying to figure out how do we get it fixed. And this game still means a whole heck of a lot to Northern Illinois. A win tonight, and they would virtually assure themselves of a bowl pit. If they lose, they may be on the outside looking in with a 6-6 six and six record. But get to 7-5, and five, and it's almost a done deal if you're going bowling. Harnish wants to run it on second down and long, and an exciting run just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Saturday night on ABC, Heisman front runner Sam Bradford leads the number three Oklahoma Sooners against Big 12 rivals Oklahoma State. Locked in a virtual tie in the BCS rankings with Texas, a road win at OSU will give Oklahoma a huge boost in their quest for a spot in the BCS championship. Saturday night football presented by Southwest Airlines. By Samsung Mobile on ABC Saturday night at 8. And Eric, you just know something strange is going to happen this weekend. You have all these rivalry games that have teams who are perceived to have a big difference in talent. You know, Alabama, Auburn, Florida, Florida State, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Texas, Texas A&M. One of these underdogs is going to step up and is going to wreak havoc with the national championship pitcher. You can just see it coming. Matt Simon on the grab, brought down by Keetrick Buffett. And it's going to bring up a fourth down and seven. And it looks like Northern Illinois is going to go for it. What's this all about, Sean? Well, I think they're at a point in the game right now. They have not had success stopping Navy's offense. And they're at that position in the field, you know, right there on the 50-45 where you can get aggressive. And even though the punt team's coming on the field, if I was Navy, I'd be very wary of Northern Illinois trying a fake or something to keep this drive going. For a moment, I thought they may go for it just because Navy doesn't have that quick strike offense. It would be hard for them to score with about a minute and a half remaining and only one timeout here in the first half. But they do indeed punt it away. It's Andy Dittbenner. And it's going to be down at about the 13-yard line. 32-yard punt. And Navy will have the football. When we come back, 91 ticks remaining in the first half. NIU already down nine to nothing. drivers who want to get the most out of their cars. It's Bridgestone or nothing. It's the season for giving, so why not give the very best? Like the exhilarating Infiniti G sedan, or the bold Infiniti FX. They're gifts you can enjoy every day of the year. Visit the Infiniti limited engagement winter event now to take advantage of our best offers of the year. Lease an Infiniti G sedan for $349 per month or get 0% APR financing. Personalize your holiday shopping with Skinit.com. It's the perfect gift for the number one sports fan on your shopping list. Go to Skinit.com today. Create customized holiday gifts online. Anything you can imagine to personalize your device. Laptops, cell phones, MP3 players, gaming devices, any device, anytime. Or get a Skinit pin card so they can pick their own design. Choose from sports, 
entertainment, fashion, and more. To get 20% off custom skins, use promo code FAN03. Go to skinit.com slash FAN03 today. I'm going to guess that those are four guys who aren't in the honors program <laughs> here at Northern <laughs> Illinois. It is cold, and they're bare-chested. <laughs> All right, 131 remaining. First half, Ricky Dobbs, the quarterback, calls his own number, and he's brought the down by Ricky Dobbs. the two-string tackle, David Bryant, Bryan, a pickup of five. Navy, they have just one timeout remaining here in the first half. Let's see how aggressive they get as yeah. they try and move this football down the field. You know, I tell you, Eric, that's one of those things where you're sitting inside and it's warm and it sounds like a great idea, and then you get out here and, it, and it's, it's pretty cold. You're like, what, what was I thinking about? I can't feel my face. I don't think Byron Roll has to worry about any competition for a Rhodes scholarship with those guys. <laughs> Fullback has the football. This is Katani, and he gets out across the 30 to the 31. Mike Sobel with the stop. Remember, Navy has just one timeout remaining. You can see the old dashes underneath their name. And one of the, Illinois, they had their full complement of three. And one of the limitations with this offense, though, is the two-minute package. So it'll be interesting. Do they have a passing game at the end of the half or at the end of the game that they can go to, Eric? I think they just want to get in that locker room with the 9 nothing lead and keep the ball away from Northern Illinois. And now a timeout is called by Navy. Their final timeout. Figure might as well see what they can do. Ricky Dobbs is a good thrower. Maybe they'll give him a chance to uncork one. And earlier in the contest on their first drive, they had to utilize two timeouts because of some confusion at the line of scrimmage. And right now, you'd love to have those timeouts because they would allow you to stick to running the football. But as you said, Ricky Dobbs proved in the fourth quarter of the Notre Dame game last week that he's more than capable of throwing the football. Sometimes doesn't need to, though. The way this running attack is going, they are more than happy just to keep it on the ground. And well, they do it well. It's not just Navy, though. We're talking about options teams. Option teams, as a rule, generally have fantastic running games to compare to the rest of Division I football. Look at this. Navy, Georgia Tech, Air Force, and Army, all within the top 10 out of 119 Division I-A teams in running the football. Yeah, I, I'm a firm believer that you can win at the highest levels of college football running the option. And there are some schools and some big conferences. Like I said, a Mississippi State plays great defense. Can't find a way to consistently move the football offensively. And Sylvester Coon, I would look into bringing the option into the SEC. It can work. Katani with the run. Picks up a couple. And the clock stops on the change of the sticks pick up the first down and now the the clock has stopped with 24 seconds remaining as Dobbs just throws the football into the ground to make sure that the clock will stop remember they have no timeouts remaining and it'll be interesting what they do but Ricky Dobbs one of the things that he has to work on there's an art form to spiking the football when you get really good at it Eric, you can do it and have it bounce right back up to you really and you hand it to the official but that's when you graduate to the next <laughs> level of spiking the football <laughs> Give to the fullback, Katani. Can he get out of bounds? No, he can't. Clock's going to continue to move. David Bryant kept him in the field of play after a pickup of six. And now Navy's really going to be up against him. And I think they're going to go ahead and take this 9 0 lead into the half. Now they're going to try and get off one more. They fooled you, Eric. But they won't have enough time. Dobbs wasn't even under center, and Ken Niamatololo will happily go into that locker room with a 9-0 lead over Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois, they need a win to virtually secure themselves a bold position, but right now, they're really struggling against Navy. 9-0 is our score. Coming up after the break, Eric Casilius and Trevor Maddich will have the ESPN College Football Halftime Report. You look like you're about to show off your team pride by stapling Reggie Bush to your wall. Watch out. But did you know there's a better way to put your passion on display without ruining Reggie's life? Not to mention the Saints' chances this season. You can get a fathead. A fathead is a life-size wall graphic that won't damage your walls. I can't say the same for you, real-life Spider-Man. And there are over 500 fatheads to choose from. 
I bought my daughter and husband each a fat head. Then I figured, what the heck? I'll get myself one too. A fat head transforms any room of the house. Oh. Yeah! And fat heads are so durable, you can put them up and take them down as much as you want. I use mine for protection. Whatever your passion, there is a fat head for every fan. Bigger gifts are better gifts. Go to fathead.com now and get a gift that will make their holiday. 13 progressive universities. Six diverse states. 23 sponsored championships. More than 100 academic All-American athletes. 11 College Hall of Fame coaches. Millions of dedicated fans. One great conference. The Mid-American Conference. The new mark of excellence. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention. If you lost a substantial amount of money in stocks, variable annuities, mutual funds, retirement accounts, or any other investment vehicle, you may have legal rights. If you suffered financial loss with brokerage firms such as Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, Citigroup Global Markets, formerly known as Solomon Smith Barney, or UBS Payne Weber, call now. Your financial advisor may have caused you to lose money by unauthorized or excessive trading of your account or high-risk investments. Again, if you lost a substantial amount of money in stocks, variable annuities, mutual funds, retirement accounts, or any other investment vehicle, you may have legal rights. Call 1-800-899-0176 now for a free consultation. We're standing by day or night to take your call in confidence. Call 1-800-899-0176. That's 1-800-899-0176. Don't delay. Welcome to the set of College Football Live with Trevor Maddich. I'm Eric Casilius in a full slate of pure rivalry hatred this weekend. Let's break down some of the games with BCS implications. We'll start Thanksgiving night. Texas A&M at Texas. Don't tell anybody, but the Aggies have actually won this battle two years in a row. Can they go to Austin and make it three in a row? They will absolutely go to Austin and not make it three in a row. They had Stephen McGee, a quarterback, playing very, very well when they won the game the last couple of years. But if he plays at all this week, he'll be gimpy with injury. The thing about Texas is that they can spread the field and get very good offensive players anywhere that they want. Texas A&M's defense right now is not stocked with enough fast players. They're a little slow, actually. And they will look slower than normal because of what Texas will do with McCoy pulling the trigger on that spread. Next up, the Iron Bowl, Auburn, Alabama. Now, Auburn's won this six straight years, but Alabama's number one. This may be the fiercest rivalry in all of college football. Who wins and why? You know, I think Alabama wins this game. And it's not just that they're a better team. It's because... At this point of the season, habits have formed, and Alabama's habits have been doing the little things right in a very consistent system with consistent coaching all year long. Auburn, there's been nothing consistent at all, especially on offense. It's been a bit of an unmade bed this year when you look at Auburn's football team. And so not only will Alabama have better talent, they will also be on a much better roll as they go into this game. And I don't think Auburn can overcome it. Let's stick with the in-state rivalry down to the state of Florida. Florida will go to the Doak and see the Seminoles of Florida State. Florida's won four years in a row. They have national championship aspirations. Can Florida State upset the apple cart? They can Florida State has a very good team. They've won eight games this year after all the suspensions at the beginning of the season, after having to play so many young players. The problem is that those young, fast defenders are susceptible to a team like Florida that can have running backs that are very fast, start one direction, and then cut back the other direction. Percy Harvin, Jeff Demps, Chris Rainey, very good at this way, then that way. And young defenders that are fast are very prone to going too fast in one direction and not being able to compensate back the other way. On Saturday on ABC, it'll be number three Oklahoma going up the road a little bit to see Stillwater's Oklahoma State Cowboys. Can Okie State take care of the Big 12 controversy with three teams possibly tying in the Big 12 South? You know, Oklahoma State can. 
it is a difficult place to play. And they have the kind of offense that you need to slow down this Oklahoma juggernaut. They can play keep away with Kendall Hunter at running back and a very good running quarterback in Zach Robinson. The problem for Oklahoma State, and the reason I like Oklahoma, is that Oklahoma's defense has peaked at the exact right moment. Earlier in the season, the Sooners wouldn't have individual mistakes in technique or assignment that would give up big plays to the opponent. But against Texas Tech, it all came together, and there were no mistakes at all. They were focused in their fundamentals. They were focused in their assignments. And that kind of terrific play from those great natural athletes will be very difficult for State to overcome. That's why I like the Sooners. We also have the Civil War. That's up at Oregon, Oregon, Oregon State. That battle, if State wins, they go to the Rose Bowl for the first time since the mid-60s. A lot of points in this game over the last few years. We talk about the offenses, but defense may be the key. That's right. Oregon State had to replace all their linebackers and all their starting defensive linemen at the beginning of this season, and they struggled early. And I think you can see an example of that in their new starting defensive ends, Victor Butler and Slade Norris. These guys are relatively small. Last year, they were third down pass rushing specialists. What they had to do early in the season was learn the techniques that smaller guys can use to beat bigger men. But they have done that. And as the season has progressed, they have developed those techniques and become disruptive players in tackles for loss and sacks. Victor Butler, Slade Norris, not only get after the quarterback in the pocket, they also get penetration on the run and get after running backs in the backfield. Part of the reason is that they've learned those techniques. Take a look at Norris get inside the punch of the tackle. Now all the tackle can do is lean on him and grab, even though he's bigger and stronger. Victor Butler, same way, top of the screen, inside the punch, between the arms. Nice technique. Yeah, the bigger tackle now can't use his strength, and he has no leverage at all. So if you're the offense, you think, well, if they're that small, I'll just run right at him and mash him. But they won't stand in front of you. Look at Butler. He's going to go inside. So now that huge tackle says, wait a minute, I'm bigger than you. But you're also slower. Slade Norris, same way. He will not just stand in front and be a blocking dummy. In this case, he's going to go inside, get penetration, disrupt the blocking scheme, and contribute to that tackle for a loss. And this has paid off on the field. In the first four games, those two combined for 19 yards in tackles for loss. In the last four games, they've combined for 163 yards in tackles for loss. And it's because they have learned the techniques that allow them to maximize their quickness and negate the size and strength of their opponents. So who wins? Oregon State wins. And they will go to the Rose Bowl if, in fact, that's the case. All right, still ahead. Reese Davis caught up with the Sooners head coach, Bob Stoops. What's coach got to say about this whole Big 12 South tiebreaker scenario? That's next. It's game time. Skybox is right up in section lighted up. How's everybody doing? Can anybody tell me what inning we're in? All right, boys, we take it back to High Life. See, the High Life is about sitting in the sun and, and watching your favorite pitcher get lit up. Take him out. Man, they can't even hear me through this glass. Come on, boys. Need to smell me a hot dog or something. Just know I'm alive. Woo! Let me pass out some High Life. If you plan on building, furnishing, or remodeling your home, or you're just tired of paying retail, don't spend another dollar. Now, you can enjoy an incredible selection of top quality name brand products priced up to 50% less than retail. Take the first step towards saving hundreds or even thousands of dollars on nearly anything for your home. Call for your free Direct Buy Insider's Guide to Buying Direct and learn what retailers don't want you to know. Each full color page of the Insider's Guide is packed with powerful information Discover some of the hundreds of thousands of products available from over 700 name brand manufacturers. Everything, including furniture, cabinets, appliances, flooring, lighting fixtures, and so much more. All without retail markups. At Direct Buy, you can't afford to miss this valuable opportunity. Call the number on your screen now to get your own Direct Buy Insider's Guide. You'll also receive a visitor's pass and map to the Direct Buy showroom nearest you. The sooner you call, the sooner you'll be buying direct. So call now. Everyone has a special talent or aptitude 
At NIU, world-class faculty work closely with each and every student to help them identify and develop their own unique skills. NIU students participate in groundbreaking research, get hands-on work experience, explore their ambitions, and find their niche. It's the hallmark of an educational experience that is second to none. Discover your genius at NIU. And joining us now from Norman is Bob Stoops. Uh, Bob, congratulations first on a great win over Texas Tech. What do you think the best way to differentiate among the three teams tied in the Big 12 South is? Well, I, I think you just have to look at what you're doing at this point in time. I hear all the time, well, this team, uh, if you're going to forgive Florida for losing at home to an unranked team, uh, the, the, the reason people do, well, they're playing well right now. Well, we just beat a... Uh, the number two team in the country uh, last weekend by 44 points and a team that was only one of a handful of teams in the country that was undefeated and had just beaten Texas a couple weeks ago. So in the end when each of when there's a three way tie um, you know if you can't rank us ahead of Texas then you have to keep Texas Tech in front of Texas. That's if you're going to use that kind of logic. So in the end it's what you're doing right now. now how would you respond to uh, to those who would say that because of the margin of victory that you take Texas Tech out of the equation in terms of the national championship and then that gives greater weight to the head to head result between you guys in Texas. How would you respond to that. Well then take greater weight that we beat them by 44 points uh, in the second to the last or next to the last week of the year uh, and a team that just beat Texas a couple weeks ago. Now what role do you think the coaches should play in voting for a poll as part of the BCS process. Well, um, it's a system we have right now, uh, but but in the end, I don't you know that it's I don't know that it's the best. I'm not going to sit here and criticize it. Uh, that's not for me to do. Uh, but in the end, it's just what we have right now. Why did you decide to give up your vote in the poll? Uh, that I'd rather not say. I don't want that to be an issue, and I don't want that to be the story. So okay, so what will you do from this point forward to make sure that voters evaluate what you think they should in determining where your team should be ranked? Uh, there's nothing I can do other than as coaches we all just try and get our teams to win uh, and to play well. Uh, in the end that's all you can do. That's all you have control over and that's all we focused on a week ago and fortunately it worked out really well for us. You guys played great defense against Texas Tech. How does defending Texas Tech compared to what you're going to face when you go up against Oklahoma State and Stillwater. Well they're different uh, Texas Tech. Just uh, in their styles of, of offense, uh, though they're still a good running football team, they throw it around a lot of different ways. Uh, Oklahoma State, there's a lot more emphasis on the running game. Uh, they got an excellent running attack, and, and that's uh, where it begins with these guys, and that's what we'll have to be great defending the run. What does the rivalry, uh, the Bedlam rivalry, mean to you? Well, it's an in-state rivalry. Uh, along with that, your division rivals. Uh, you know all of those implications. Uh, they're a good, very good football team, and so it's always a challenge. But uh, but it's a, as always, it's an exciting challenge as well. Well, Bob, your team has made an emphatic statement so far. We wish you the best of luck the rest of the way. Okay, thanks, Reese. your holiday shopping with skinit.com it's the perfect gift for everyone on your shopping list go to skinit.com today create customized holiday gifts online anything you can imagine to personalize your device laptops cell phones mp3 players gaming devices any device anytime or get a skin it pin card so they can pick their own design choose from sports entertainment fashion and more to get 20 percent off custom skins use promo code custom 03 go to skinit.com slash custom 03 today a thousand things went through my head when i made that tackle I thought of my mom. She's been going to my games since I played Pee Wee Ball. I'm so, so proud of him. I thought of my high school coach. He has the heart of a champion. He's in the right place doing the right things. I saw Coach Nia Montalolo. Grab, he's by action. He was a special young man. 
I remember the look on my dad's face at the end of the game. We kind of laid the foundations for Ram to become a successful leader. I'm in Jimmy Ramiro Ray Vela III from San Antonio, Texas, and I'm fulfilling my destiny. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention. If you lost a substantial amount of money in stocks, variable annuities, mutual funds, retirement accounts, or any other investment vehicle, you may have legal rights. If you suffered financial loss with brokerage firms such as Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, Citigroup Global Markets, formerly known as Solomon Smith Barney, or UBS Payne Weber, call now. Your financial advisor may have caused you to lose money by unauthorized or excessive trading of your account or high-risk investments. Again, if you lost a substantial amount of money in stocks, variable annuities, mutual funds, retirement accounts, or any other investment vehicle, you may have legal rights. Call 1-800-899-0176 now for a free consultation. We're standing by day or night to take your call in confidence. Call 1-800-899-0176. That's 1-800-899-0176. Don't delay. The midshipmen who have made the trip from Annapolis enjoying what they're seeing so far here in DeKalb, Illinois. It is a Navy 9-0 lead over the NIU Huskies so far through one half of play. With Sean King, I'm Eric Collins. And Navy introducing a brand new starting quarterback in Ricky Dobbs. So far, so good. As good as advertised. I thought he brought tremendous athleticism to the position when I saw him play in the previous game versus Notre Dame, and he is not disappointed. He's been a dual threat at that position. He's made people miss in the open field. He's extended drives, and he's got his team with the lead at halftime. And as you watch this highlight, right here is a pass, but he has ability when everything breaks down to make something good happen. That's something you can't teach, Eric. You either have it or you don't. I like the poise he played with. I like the way he took control of his offense. He managed the game. He put them in a situation to be in the lead at the halftime. You know, you break games down into halves. Well, he has his team in the lead after the first part of this game. And Ricky Dobbs, the numbers starting to uh, add up. Close to a 100-yard day already. 94 yards on the ground in the first half alone. When we come back, we'll kick things off in the third quarter. Don't go anywhere. Enterprise is picking us up. Size expensive. Pickup's free, Mom. This car for the weekend looks expensive. It's 50% off, Mom. You ought to rent me a car every weekend. Mom. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Deck the office with smart technology. La 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 la. Get connected and stay secure with Windows Vista Business. La la la. John, we now have great computers. La 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 la. Hey, let's go Carol the Carol. Simplify the season with Dell and Windows Vista Business. Call or go to dell.com slash 1TV. Two power conferences, including seven top 25 teams, lay it on the line. Headlined by a clash between Duke and Purdue and a colossal battle between number one North Carolina and Michigan State. The ACC Big Ten Challenge, Monday, December 1st through Wednesday, December 3rd. All right, everybody, before we get going, we've got some changes on the RV this year. First off, per Dwight's request, we got a beaded cover for the driver's seat. Thank you, Dwight. It's better for your back. Also, after last year's debacle, we've installed a 24-second clock in the bathroom. Nice idea. And finally, by popular demand, drum roll, please, hydraulics. Magic 76ers, tomorrow on ESPN. 13 progressive universities. Six diverse states. 23 sponsored championships. More than 100 academic All-American athletes. 11 College Hall of Fame coaches. Millions of dedicated fans. One great conference. The Mid-American Conference. The new mark of excellence. The Navy fans here in DeKalb having a jolly good time. The midshipmen up 9 to nothing after 30 minutes of play. Kind of hard to believe that Navy playing this well right now against the Northern Illinois team that you would assume would be hungry. Remember, Northern Illinois, they need to win if they want to make sure that they're going to get a bowl bid uh, in an, uh, another week's time. Let's take a look at the first half numbers. 
And as you'd imagine, they're tilted definitely in favor of the Navy midshipmen. Look at the rushing yards. That's not up there right now, but 206 total yards for Navy. Virtually all of that coming on the ground. Just one completed pass for the midshipmen. Well, they've definitely dominated the line of scrimmage, Eric. I mean, they've basically been able to do exactly what they want offensively against this Northern Illinois defense. And unless Coach Kill was able to make some adjustments at halftime, it's going to be stacked pretty much the same in the second half. 174 rushing yards in the first half for the midshipmen. Not bad. All right, we're underway here in the third quarter. Short kickoff, fielded at the five. Mario Washington touching the football for the first time today. And he's still on his feet, out across the 35 to the 39. Nifty run. Great way to start the second half. You know, this makes the strength and conditioning coach extremely happy, Eric. When you see one of your guys able to keep his balance and all those drills that you do that you think are just so rudimentary in, in there, <laughs> and in the big picture, that they really allow you to do those type of things. It's amazing. I'm sure the strength and conditioning coach is on the sideline smiling. Yeah, 176 rushing yards right now. About far from the course for Navy. They average close to 300 at 295 per game. Ricky Dobbs on first down, picks up three, maybe four. Stop made by the safety, Mike Sobel. Officially a three-yard game. There's Sobel. Just a sophomore, he's got two more years of eligibility. This is the final home game for 21 seniors at Northern Illinois. They'll say goodbye to a large chunk of this year's team. Jerry Kill in inheriting a veteran club that has had some success. These seniors have been a part of two different bowl games during their time here in DeKalb. Run by Eric Catani. Northern Illinois led by number 51, Larry English. They have been in 2006 to the Poinsettia Bowl. 2004, the Silicon Valley Classic was what was at the end of the season for Northern Illinois. Trying to get to another bowl game, but they need to win tonight. If they don't win tonight, they're going to be stuck at 6-6, six and six, and more than likely their season's going to come to an end. That's Matt Malloy on the ground and in pain for Navy. Now that, uh, that trip to the Silicon Valley Bowl was a big deal in these parts in 2004. Joe Novak really turned around a program that was winless when he first got here to the Cal. All right, we'll take a timeout. Just getting started here in the third quarter. After dismantling Texas Tech, Heisman hopeful Sam Bradford and the Sooners face another must-win game to keep their Big 12 and national title hopes alive. Saturday Night Football on ABC. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Saturday at 8 Eastern. Part of Rivalry Week presented by Samsung Mobile. College football lives here. They're referring to you as the Oceanic Six. How did all this happen? It happened because you left, Jack. We need to protect the people that we left behind. Where are you going, Mommy? We're going on vacation, baby. People are trying to kill us. Where are you going? Let's go get them. ABC's Lost. The premiere event arrives Wednesday, January 21st on ABC. Made from fresh tomatoes living happily together with spicy green chilies. The bold flavor of Rotel gives your queso a kick. Spice things up with Rotel. Three of man's proudest accomplishment, the wind, fire, and the tailgate. Wait a minute. Mm -mm, something ain't right. See what's going on. What are you grilling? Ostrich burger. Ostrich? And you gonna wash it down with Miller Highlight? Most certainly. You guys are five yards short of common sense. Can I borrow this beef? Yeah, Take sure, it over. Right. Pay attention. Now watch your hair. Smell how good that is. Yeah. Your beef and high life and you're in. You with me? Now you're living the high life. Thank, Thank you. you. Ostrich. That's not a burger, that's a bird. Phillips Norelco Architect. The shaver with a flexible head that pivots and rotates freely. So now you can easily get a close shave, even on the neck. Right tackle, Matt Malloy has to leave the game. He's being tended to on the sideline for Navy. 
Maybe up nine to nothing over Northern Illinois. Sander Gosser takes over for Malloy. He is probably the only Division I offensive lineman that used to play Division I soccer before playing football. He was a goalie at Albany before deciding to play football. Pick up of one on third down and two, and it looks like the punt team's gonna, gonna have to come on for Navy. There's Sander Gossard. Can you believe that? What a combination. A, a soccer player, Sean, as well as an offensive lineman in football. Well, that means that he's a tremendous athlete. Anytime the big fella can run up and down the soccer field. <laughs> <laughs> that speaks volumes about his athleticism. They're gonna go for it here. Fourth down and one, not even at midfield, and Navy's gonna try and keep the football. And it looks like they're just trying to draw him offside. Late block down to two. And this was just a ploy to try to come off side. Didn't work. And for the first time today, Navy's going to have to punt the football. And I like that play call you know, from the Navy staff. See if you can get. NIU to jump off sides. Well, the thing that I like to see, you know, every time you do that and, the, and your quarterback stands up, the defensive line relaxes. So in those fourth and short, you know, situations, at some point, the offensive coordinator is going to say, okay, we're going to try and draw them off sides, and I want you to stand up and then get back on the center and hand the ball to the fullback because all the defense relaxes. Did you ever try that? No, I didn't. I always wondered that myself, too. I think that would work. We were never in fourth and short. Though. Oh, <laughs> sure. Never had fourth down. Never punted, right? Nah. First punt of the game is inside the 15, down to the 13-yard line, and that's where the drive will begin for Northern Illinois. Greg Turner has the football down at the 12. 44-yard punt, negative one-yard return. Thursday night, college football primetime features a crucial game in the BCS standings as the number two ranked Texas Longhorns take on Texas A&M. In a virtual tie the BCS standings with Oklahoma, the Longhorns need a big win to stamp their spot in the BCS championship. College football primetime presented by Applebee's as part of Rivalry Week presented by Samsung Mobile on ESPN Thursday night at 7.30 Eastern. Look at that, that is a true husky. <laughs> The blue eyes, the thick coat. It's husky weather tonight. On first down, trying the right side. Pick up of a couple for Ricky Kreider. Call it a gain of three. Uh, uh, a husky's like from the wolf family. He looks like a wolf. Oh, yeah, that's, that's scary. That's, that's not too far off at all. Yeah, we called it earlier tonight a three dog night. Are you going to explain what that man, means? That's when it's really cold. The Australian Aborigines, they used to sleep with their dogs. And if it was really cold, they'd get three dogs together and sleep with the dogs to try and keep them warm. So the dogs would place blankets? So, yeah, so it was really cold. It was a three-dog night. You know how you sleep with dog breath <laughs> in your nose. But... Second down, Harnish calls his own number and squirts out to the 20-yard line before Corey Johnson, the converted basketball player, tackles him. Pick up of six, it'll bring up third and two. And I'm interested to see emotionally how Northern Illinois comes out of the locker room. The last time we were here two weeks ago against Central Michigan, the game went sort of the same. Central Michigan dominated the first half, but Northern Illinois came out the second half almost as a different team. Well, they did something that they were having trouble doing the first half. They got to stop defensively. So let's see if Chandler Harness and this offense can get some points going and get back into this football game. You're going to have to hurry. Just breaking the huddle with 12 seconds left on the play clock. Hold that Connor Flayhive in motion. They get the playoff. Harnish has a man wide open. It's Marcus Perez. That's Britt Davis with his first catch of the day. A pickup of 14 yards. Fifth year senior from Broadview, Illinois. And this is a good job of ball handling by Chandler Harnish. You play flake to your running back, get that defense moving one way. Come back and throw an accurate pass out to your wide receiver. This is a good first down play for Northern Illinois. Good to see Britton Davis get something going in his final college home game. He was a big deal in his program the last couple of years. This year he's been really banged up. That was just his 12th catch. Play fake. Harnish wants to throw. Has a man caught. Back to back completions for Harnish. This time it's Marcus Perez. 
and again they tried the same play just run it to the other side and I think right now that Northern Illinois is taking advantage of the fact that Navy's cornerbacks play really soft and by that I mean they give that wide receiver a 10 12 yard cushion because they don't like giving up big plays but what it allows is it allows a lot of the underneath route to be uncontested and Northern Illinois is taking advantage of that. All three times that Northern Illinois had the football in the first half, they crossed midfield. They weren't able to put any points on the board. Quarterback draw. Hardest able to get back to the line of scrimmage before Clint Sovey brings him to the ground. And see, Eric, this is why I never like for Coach to call quarterback runs. When you run as a quarterback in this design, you get hit. Quarterbacks aren't meant to get hit. 395 pounds on the bench. Is that, uh, is that impressive for you, Sean? It's a big number, isn't it? That's what I used to do. Really? Uh, I think. So if quarterbacks are doing it, I guess it's not that impressive, huh? <laughs> Arnish pass complete. Staying on his feet, Greg Turner gets the first down and more. And Eric, when you have a young quarterback, remember I always talk about him improving. Well, that was a throw in the first half that he threw low and behind his wide receiver. Well, this time, he doesn't repeat that mistake. He throws an accurate football that his wide receiver can catch, and it turns into a first down. All right, Sean, this is the fourth consecutive time today that Northern Illinois has crossed the 50. They haven't scored yet. What are they going to have to do differently to try and get this ball either to the end zone or in field goal position? I think if they continue doing what they're doing, that they'll have success against this Navy defense. Carry goes to Ricky Kreider. Now this is Chad Spann, his first carry of the day, and Spann, a good game. The former walk-on has really come on here in the late stretches of the season. Pickup of eight. And you know, Eric, you've been with me all season. You know, this part of the field, right here from the 40, between the 40 and the 35 yard, and the 25 yard line, I call this the green zone. You know, the offensive coordinator right here, you gotta dial it up. Coach Lime Grove, you got to hit the button, bing, like you're playing video games. You have to get aggressive. This is the perfect spot in the field to run a play action, deep post, and give your offense an opportunity to get a cheap touchdown. Second and two. They stay conservative. They give it to Chad Spann. Middle linebacker Clint Sobey combines with Jabari Tuani on the stop. Pick up of one. And that's why, one of the reasons I like getting aggressive, I don't like to get conservative right there. When you get conservative and the defense stops you, now you put yourself in a third down situation, third and long. And offensively, you don't like to be here. You know, I'd rather take that shot, give that safety something to think about, even if you don't complete it. You know, kind of get him thinking, well, okay, they are going to try and throw the ball over me. Here's the offensive coordinator, Matt Lime Grover. Joining Jerry Kill here in DeKalb this season. Play action. Harnish. Pass sails high. Looking for Turner. All right, decision time for the Huskies. Fourth down and four. What are they going to do? I think at this point in the football game, they're going to go for it. I think Coach Jerry Kittle is feeling a little more confident in his defensive ability to stop Navy. But the reason I like when a team gets aggressive in this part of field area, because now if you don't pick up this fourth team, this fourth down, you didn't even attack Navy's defense. You didn't force them to stop your offense. You basically became conservative, and, and they didn't have to defend much. Now Jerry Kill, understanding the gravity of the situation, calls timeout. We'll see what he dials up when we come back. ESPN, your NBA destination. Dwight Howard leads the magic against the 76ers. Coverage begins tomorrow at 7 Eastern on ESPN. Want to get strong? Want to get lean? Want to get ripped? Well, now you can with Iron Gym, the multifunction training system that raises the bar on upper body exercise. Iron Gym turns any door into your own personal gym in just seconds. Its unique design wraps around your door frame and uses leverage, so there's no screws and no damage to your door. Start off with shoulder shredding, bicep burning, chin ups, and pull ups to develop and strengthen your shoulders, arms, back, and lats. And with three different grip positions, narrow grip, wide grip, 
and neutral. You can switch up your routine and keep challenging your muscles. But we're not finished there. Take it to the floor for deep push-ups for a greater range of motion and no strain on your wrists. And it's a sturdy base for tricep dips. Then finish your workout at the base of your door with gut-busting crunches for rock-hard abs and obliques. Iron Gym is the way to get in serious shape fast. In just minutes a day, you'll build lean muscle and get ripped. With Iron Gym, you can do pull-ups, chin-ups, push-ups, dips, and crunches. Every exercise you need to build a powerful upper body, and you'll see real results in just 30 days, guaranteed. Order Iron Gym today for just two payments of $29.99. As a bonus, you'll also get these hanging ab straps for a more explosive abdominal workout. But call right now and we'll cut the price in half. That's right, you'll get Iron Gym with the hanging ab straps for just one payment of $29.99. Take the Iron Gym Challenge, use it for 30 days, and if you don't see real results, return it for a full refund. But you've got to call now. Call 1-800-830-9256 to order the Iron Gym for only $29.99 and get ripped with the Iron Gym Challenge. That's 1-800-830-9256. Call now. We are close to 800 miles away from Annapolis, but there's a distinct midshipman presence here at Husky Stadium, and right now, they're rooting on the Husky defense. It's a fourth down and four. Northern Illinois, they're gonna go for it. Jerry Kill has decided that the time is now. Harnish out of the shotgun. Three receivers left side. Plenty of time for Harnish. Pass is picked off. Oh, a chance for Navy. Caught from behind. Picked off Emmett Merchant's second interception of the game thrown by Harden. And, and right there, Eric, that's just great coaching by the Navy coaching staff because obviously Northern Illinois has a tendency when they get in that three wide receiver set and, and the defensive back understood what they like to do from that set. He jumped the route and the young quarterback complicated the error by throwing the football directly to him. First interception of the season for Merchant. Second one thrown so far today, Chandler Harnish. And now, Northern Illinois is going to be up against it because Navy's going to bleed some of that clock, you'd imagine, with that running game they have. Eric Catani, rush on first down. And again, you go back to that last Northern Illinois drive. That's why I call it the green zone, Eric. When you get in that portion of the field between the 40 and 25, you have to become aggressive. I thought Northern Illinois was too conservative in their play calling for that stretch of four plays, and it cost them. Conservative doesn't pay sometimes. Dobbs keeps it, pitches it out. Greg Shinego caught the only pass thrown in the first half by Navy hey, on that carry. There's Emmett now. Merchant, good look at him. Merchant just a sophomore from Riverdale, Georgia. Chandler Harnish. And I'm impressed. Trying to get over right I'm now. impressed that he caught the football. You know, all defensive backs are wide receivers that couldn't catch. That's what I always tell him. <laughs> so you guys are great at batting the ball down, but Emmett actually held on to it. Third down and one. Fullback. This is going to be close. It's going to depend on the spot. Eric Katani, first man through, is going to be close to the first down marker, and they do have it. Sean, when we talked to the Northern Illinois coaching staff, when they when we talked about Chandler Harness, they said one of the things that the redshirt freshman is working on is developing a next play mentality. What did they mean by that? Well, they meant the ability to not become emotionally attached to a play, no matter if it's a good play or a bad play. Eric, playing the quarterback position, it's always about preparing yourself for the next play. With young quarterbacks, either they get too high or they get too low. Bobby Doyle out in space is wrapped up and brought down at the 22-yard line to pick up a three. And being a good quarterback is about consistency. It's about being able to duplicate the good things of the position from a fundamental standpoint and an execution standpoint, play after play. And young quarterbacks a lot of times get caught up. They do something bad, they try and press and, and to correct the mistake, and they don't want him to fall into that trap. They want him to they want him to understand that just live to fight another day. 
if we call a play and it's covered and it's not there, don't force it. Just come back the next play and we'll get them the next time. Dobbs gets to the edge, pitches it out. Down to the 15-yard line goes Shinego. And this is one quarterback right here who I am excited with his ability to run this option. I mean, he's like he's like a magician. I want you to see the patience coming down the line, Eric. Force that defender to come to you. Nice, easy, catchable pitch to his running back. That little nuance in the option attack gets you another six yards, which turns a good gain into a great game because it gets you a first down. What they say about Ricky Dobbs, one of the reasons why he didn't get a ton of playing time early in the year, they say he's a terrible practice player. As good as he is in games, they say he's not so good in practice. He keeps it himself and gets inside the 10. Well, I always you know, thought that I want to have guys that show up when the lights are on. You know, I've played football for quite a long time. You have a lot of practice superstars. <laughs> the guys who run around, who make all kinds of plays in practice, but they can't transfer, transfer it to the actual game. Ricky Dobbs is one of those guys. He's one of those guys, when the lights shine the brightest, when everybody's watching, that's when he plays the best. And a kid like that can play for me anytime. You know, Ricky Dobbs, he'll be the first person to tell you, he didn't come from much, had a loving family, but didn't have a ton of money. Going to the Navy was a big deal in his life because of the opportunities that it provides. The first man through the fullback, Katani, batters down to the two-yard line. Matter of fact, he gave us an example. Ricky Dobbs said, for his 17th birthday, his present, his very first trip ever to the dentist. I think it's just a fantastic story of where he came from and what he wants to be. And he's such a humble man. He, I, I just enjoyed thoroughly the opportunity to get to know Ricky Dobbs this week. I mean, he has, he leaves such an impression on you. You know, so many bad things that, that you see going around. Well, he's one of the good things. Here's a young man who understands that he has an impact and an effect on people, and he utilizes that to the fullest extent. And he's enjoying the opportunity tonight to lead this Navy football team for the first time, and he's doing an excellent job so far. Larry English comes in from the backside and stops Ricky Dobbs. I think that was great. He actually gave you a phone call. He got a message to you <laughs> after we had had a conference call with him a couple of days earlier. <laughs> Ricky Dobbs is the leader of my fan club. He's the new president. <laughs> Now, if I can just get you on board, Eric. You're going to sign up? You're going to be a member of the Sean King fan club? <laughs> One of King's Kings? Yeah. Then it'll be two of you, Eric and Rick. <laughs> Second down and goal, Northern Illinois. They'd love to keep Navy out of the end zone. Dobbs keeps it. Did he get there? Looks like he's a little bit short. Jake Kaufman, the sophomore, stops him inches away from the goal line. It's going to bring up. Third down and goal. And this is something that a lot of option attacks run the closer they get to the goal line is that quarterback following. It's close, but Northern Lord does a good job of keeping him just short. Matt Malloy, who had to leave the game with an injury, last possession for Navy, back in at right tackle. Fullback is stoned. Katani's going to be short of the goal line. How about this for a defensive stand so far for the Huskies? And they called a touchdown. How about that for a delayed call? And I think the second effort actually got Katani into the end zone. We'll see on the replay, but I think that's what it was. He was initially stopped. But I think his second effort got him across the goal line. You see right there, he stopped Eric, but he doesn't stop. His knees don't go down. He continues to fight, and I think that extra effort is what got him into the end zone. Extra point is true. I'm a little bit surprised. I thought that that was fairly generous. But Katani will take it. His third touchdown of the season. And with that score, it is now a 16-0 lead for Navy. Is it difficult for you to lose weight? Have you tried dieting and exercising, but nothing seems to work? Well, don't give up, because scientists have found the solution. It's called Xylotrim. Xylotrim is clinically proven to help reduce your body fat and weight. In a recent double-blind study, participants who took Xylotrim lost 200% more weight 
than those who didn't take it. And 80% of each pound that was lost was pure body fat. To raise awareness about this weight loss breakthrough, the company is letting people try Xylotrim risk-free for 30 days. What's even more amazing is that the U.S. government awarded it two patents for weight loss. It's so easy. Just take Xylotrim. That's it. Call now to try Xylotrim risk-free for 30 days for only $29.95. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll double your order and include your shipping absolutely free. Remember, Xylotrim is clinically proven to reduce your body fat and weight or will refund your entire purchase price. Call 1-800-708-5971. <laughs> Saturday Night Football on ABC, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Saturday at 8 Eastern. Okay, give me my remote. Get it, Jim, you had way too much cable. Uh, you said you were gonna get DirecTV. I'm fine, really. So digital picture doesn't mean anything to you? But what about your friends and your family? I just wanna watch the game. That's the cable talking, Jim. That game isn't even in HD. Friends don't let friends watch cable. Refer a friend or family member to DirecTV, and you'll get $50, and they'll get $50, on top of our best offer. On December 19th, you have to say yes to everything. Tong Jin Aishinen. That sounded naughty. One man. Oh! One word. Yes! Yeah? yeah. One phenomenon. Throw it at that bank. Go jump off a bridge. Can I borrow a couple bucks? Well, you're okay with that, right, buddy? Yes, I am. Yes! We'll change everything. You should check it out. It's catching on. Yeah! Wow. Jim Carrey. It's a Ducati. Ducati. Yes, man. Made in PG-13. Starts December 19th. Ken Niamatololo, a happy man right now. His Navy's on top of Northern Illinois, 16 to nothing. And Sean, at first blush, I wasn't sure this is a touchdown, but now I think it is. Well, I was. I have better vision than you, Eric. I told you, <laughs> the second effort is what got Katani into the end zone. They stopped him initially, but if you see, he continues to push forward, and he ends up just across that goal line. Yeah, you can see there's that goal line right there, and it looks like his upper body just got across. So it's a touchdown. It's now 10 points scored off of the two Chandler Harnish uh, interceptions so far today. Navy, 10 of their 16 points coming immediately after picks. John Teague is going to kick it off. Fielded at the four by Ricky Kreider. Kreider trying to give his team a spark. Runs over one defender, gets out to the 27-yard line, a return of 25 yards. And right now, Northern Illinois needs a spark. They need a big play. I mean, they need this offense to come out on the field and create some point production. That defense has spent the entire game on the field. They're exhausted. They're tired. The spark has to come from the offensive side of football. And then maybe they can get to what I think is the strongest part of their team is their onside kick. <laughs> we saw that two weeks ago against Central Michigan. Although Navy has a pretty good one themselves, which allowed them to get back in the Notre Dame <laughs> game the previous week. But, but Chandler, right now, this is what you're going to see when Coach Kill talks about the ability to let the last play go. You throw a bad interception on fourth down, it costs your, your team a touchdown. Can you come back and still be effective at this position? And this game means a whole heck of a lot to this program. They want to get to a bowl game because not only would it be fun to go to a bowl game, a chance to see a different part of the country, but it gives you an opportunity to practice, to get your club together, make sure that you have extra time to work on implementing Jerry Kill's program. Remember Jerry Kill, just his first year here at Northern Illinois. He wants to have as much practice time as possible with this redshirt freshman quarterback, Chandler Harden. And off to Kreider. Kreider out to the 41-yard line. Tackle made by Ross Pospisil. Saturday night on ABC, Heisman front runner Sam Bradford takes the number three Oklahoma Sooners into Stillwater to take on Oklahoma State. Locked in a virtual tie in the BCS standing to Texas, a road win at Oklahoma State will give Oklahoma a huge boost in their quest for a spot in the BCS championship. Saturday night football presented by Southwest Airlines as part of Rivalry Week presented by Samsung Mobile on ABC Saturday night at 8. And you think there's a possibility for an upset there? I do, and I want to know, out of Texas versus Texas a and Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, 
Pass complete for the fullback, Connor Flahive, who's down at 44. Alabama, Auburn, Florida State, Florida. Who has the best chance of pulling the upset this weekend in rivalry week? I do think that Oklahoma State, it, it, to me, if they're an underdog, they're a small underdog. That offense they have, their defense has been solid all season long. I like Zach Robinson as their quarterback. I, I like that. I think I, that Oklahoma's in for it right now. I like that. I, I think as good as Florida has been playing, there are very few teams that can match Florida athlete for athlete. Florida State's one of them. I think that's a dangerous game for Urban Meyer and the Florida Gator. Design quarterback run by Harnish. He crosses midfield. Corey Johnson on the stop. And here's Chandler Harnish showing that other dimension that he brings to that position. A big kid, but he's a, a, a good athlete. He's, he gives you the opportunity to utilize him as a part of your running game. Officials getting together, talking over where the spot was. And they're going to measure. Measure, okay. It's our first measurement of the day. And Northern Illinois was going to actually run their short yardage team onto the field. Yeah, they're about uh, two lengths of barbed wire away from the first down. And Eric, it's one of the things that when I was at Tulane that we used to do. You know, when we got in third and short situations, we would stay with our normal four wide receiver, one running back personnel, and then we'd run our short yardage personnel onto the field and line up real quick and run the play. And it was really effective for us because we were going to force that defense to adjust and change personnel quickly, and a lot of times they couldn't get it done. And Northern Illinois was going to attempt to do the same thing. They may still do it, but the official blew the plate dead so that they could measure maybe four down territory even if they don't get this here on third and one northern illinois has got to get something going and get it done soon harnish gives it to the deep back pushing forward is ricky Kreider, and it looks like he's got enough for the first down yes he has signals been made so, Sean, this is now the fifth time today that Northern Illinois has had the football. All five times they've crossed midfield, yet they have a goose egg next to their name. They haven't scored at all. And as of right now, they have not taken a, a, a aggressive shot at the end zone. And uh, they're getting to their area of the field. You have to start getting a little more aggressive in your play call. Let those guys outside make some plays for your quarterback. All right. That's the end of the third quarter. We will see how aggressive Jerry Kill is with his play call when we come back. Chandler Harnish and Northern Illinois, they trail Navy 16 to nothing through three quarters of play. The ACC Big Ten Challenge, Monday, December 1st through Wednesday, December 3rd. Are you one of the millions of people who think you just can't learn a new language? The problem isn't that you can't learn, it's that you've been using the wrong method. Well, thanks to our breakthrough software called Rosetta Stone, learning a new language is now incredibly easy and a whole lot faster. I've probably learned more in the first two weeks than I have in months of taking formal classes. Unlike traditional methods that require hours of tedious translation and memorization, with Rosetta Stone you're actively engaged in each lesson from the very beginning, you'll see real-life images and hear native speakers. El caballo corre. This powerful combination teaches you to think in a new language, not memorize. So speaking comes naturally. You'll learn far more easily and more quickly. I've used a lot of different mediums, the books, uh, the tapes, um, and it just... Bar none, it's, it's the best one that I've ever used. I was one of those people who thought they could not learn a language, and I needed to learn a language for my job, so I needed to learn Spanish. And I learned Spanish quickly, and I did it through Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone is so fast and effective, it's used by the U.S. State Department, NASA, the U.S. Army, and Fortune 500 companies, and is the world's leading language learning software. It's almost like having your own 
person there teaching you, your own private tutor who is just very relaxed in your home with you, sitting there teaching you the language. Rosetta Stone is the fastest way to learn a new language. And to prove it, we'll send you our amazing demo CD absolutely free when you call. There's no obligation to buy. Right away, you'll see for yourself just how fast and easy it is to learn a new language with Rosetta Stone. This really is a great program. I believe that you can learn any language with this program. If you're serious about learning a language, there's no easier way to do it than with Rosetta Stone. Call the number on your screen now and see for yourself why Rosetta Stone is the fastest way to learn a language guaranteed. They're referring to you as the Oceanic Six. How did all of this happen? It happened because you left, Jack. We need to protect the people that we left behind. We're going on vacation, baby. People are trying to kill us. Where are you going? Let's go get him. ABC's Lost. The premiere event arrives Wednesday, January 21st on ABC. Monday, the day 73% of paper jams occur. Usually on a page, that's pretty important. So you open flap C, press the tab, and check tray 3. But nothing's there. Like when you tried to print that email of the top 10 things you'd like to see Wonder Woman do. But with Monday comes Monday Night Football on ESPN, where Jones, Drew, and the Jaguars take on Johnson and the Texans. So cheer up, Q-Clogger, because the view from your couch is always unobstructed. Now yeah, things getting a little bit tense on that Northern Illinois sideline. Jerry Kill trying to look on the play sheet for something that's going to work. They trail Navy 16 to nothing. All five times that Northern Illinois has had the football, they've crossed midfield, yet they don't even have a field goal attempt to their credit. They have not scored against this Navy midshipman defense. 15 minutes to play. Harnish on the play fake. Wants a bunch, has a man. Marcus Perez, no chance at that one. That was well out of bounds. That's a pet peeve of yours, Sean. I know that. Yeah, that's a pet peeve of mine. If you're a young quarterback and you're listening to this, when coach calls an aggressive down the field throw, the only two ways that you don't have a chance to complete it is if you overthrow it or you throw it out of bounds. And that's what Chandler Harness did right there. Marcus Perez ran an outstanding route. Chandler Harness threw the football out of bounds. You can't miss those type of throws. You can underthrow it. Uh, you can throw it right on the money. You can do everything but overthrow and throw it out of bounds. That gives you no chance to catch the football. Marcus Perez had to go to the sideline. He was hobbling on his way over there. Northern Illinois has not had a play longer than 14 yards today. Harnish. Flag is down as he is tackled at the 35 by Emmett Merchant. That's a gain of 13 should it hold up. And it's going to go against the Huskies. Marcus Perez being helped off. That's the first penalty, Sean, against Northern Illinois. It's a holding call. Turning around, holding number 17 to the offense. Ten yards to the spot of the foul. Three minutes, second down. And you see, Marcus Perez had a step or two on the defensive back, but because of where the ball was thrown, he had to do a period, and he ended up about five, six yards out of bounds. Perez, one of 21 seniors on this year's roster for Northern Illinois. Trying to keep their postseason dreams alive. Northern Illinois, they need to win today to get to 7-5 and five and virtually assure themselves of a bold bid. If they lose and fall to 6-6, six and six, it's a crapshoot. Things don't really look good for the Huskies. Harnish in trouble. Dangerous pass. And a flag comes down late. Was Harnish hit when he was out of bounds? And that was a bad decision by Clint Sovey right there. You have Northern Illinois on their heels. You have them backpedaling. You see the quarterbacks going to throw the ball out of bounds. That's just a no-no. That is indeed on number 44, Clint Sovey. First foul. Off of the quarterback. Number 44 to defense. 15 yards. Automatic first down. Sean, believe it or not, 
but that's the largest or the longest gain of the day for Northern Illinois. Their longest play from scrimmage has been 14 yards. They pick up 15 yards on that personal foul. <laughs> and you take Northern Illinois from being in a third and forever situation, and you give them first and 10. And if they score here, they're going to go for two when you keep them in the ball game. And, and Coach Ken was arguing at the ref, but when he watches the tape, he'll know that Clint has to be smarter than that in that situation. So it's a first down ball on the 36-yard line. Arnish, design quarterback run. Makes the first man miss, gets out to the 31, pick up a five. Northern Illinois, should they get the win tonight, move to seven and five. Some of the bowls that they'd be in contention for, not just the three bowls of the MAC tie-ins, the International Bowl, the GMAC, and the Motor City, but also bowls like the Papa John's.com Bowl in Birmingham. With the independence. We're doing. Sure, we'd love to see him down there. The Independence Bowl in Shreveport, the Las Vegas Bowl, and the Texas Bowl in Houston, just to name a couple. A lot of things yet to be decided in the bowl picture. The first things first, they're down by two scores. Harnish again calls his own number. And Harnish gets the first down. Still on his feet, down to the 19-yard line. Tommy Haber with the tackle, a pickup of 12. And those are two outstanding runs by Chandler Hardish in a row. And you know, these are things that frustrate you as a coach because you know the talent is there. It's just can he put all the pieces together and become a consistent playmaker down in and down out. But he has the talent. The physical things are there for Chandler Hardish. Deepest yeah. penetration of the day for Jerry Kills Club. Ball on the 19-yard line. Hardish has already thrown a couple of picks today. Needs to be careful. Kreider to the 14-yard line. Haber, another tackle. And Eric, as successful as this drive has been, I still feel like Northern Illinois is still a little too conservative offensively. You know, I still feel like you have to force defensive backs, so I feel like all wanted to be receivers, and they couldn't catch, <laughs> so they played defensive back. Instead, you have to force those guys to make some plays. Northern Illinois has size at receiver. They have 6'2", six, 6'3", six, guys. Give them an opportunity to go up and make a play for you in the end zone. Design quarterback run. Harnish dancing to the 10. It's going to bring up third down and one on the Mac. Particularly the Mac West has been interesting so far this year, to say the least. Ball State has been the team that everyone's talked about. But Western Michigan and Central Michigan, both of them very solid this year. Ball State actually playing as we speak in their game against Western Michigan. Ball State currently leading that game. It was 14 to 14 at one point. Ball State and Western Michigan tied. Ball State has now opened up a 16 point advantage. It is now a 30 to 14 lead for the Cardinals. So they're looking good. Third down and one. Three backs behind Harnish. They give it to the deep back. It's Chad Spann to the 10 yard line. I don't think he got there. Looks like he's going to be well short of the first down marker. It's fourth down and long one. What do you do here, Sean? Well, oh, you have to go for it. You know, you're basically in a two touchdown game where you have to go for two and convert two two point conversions. But, you know, I still just feel like they're a little too conservative, Eric. They've been across the 50 you know, five times a day, and as of right now, they're still yet to throw a ball in the end zone. You have to give those wide receivers a chance to make plays. So Jerry Kill has to burn his second timeout. He'll have just one more for the remaining 11.06, but this could be the play of the season for Northern Illinois. We'll have it when we come back. When I first saw Joshua, it was, oh my gosh. This guy's on eHarmony. I didn't want anyone to know that I was secretly having someone else find someone for me. I was done dating. When you own your own business, there's no time to go out. So I went on eHarmony to let them find Mr. Right for me. Find out who you're matched with. Log on and review your matches for free. eHarmony.com. Can you believe that we can text, email, surf the internet, even update your Facebook status right from the palm of your hand. At Sprint, we want everyone to experience all of the incredible things a 3G phone can do. 
on a big 3G network. The wireless revolution continues. Come join us. Introducing the Samsung Rant for $49.99. It's the fully loaded phone on America's largest, most dependable 3G network. Hi, welcome to Sign the Drive. So we could lease the Jetta or the EOS for nothing down? With just a signature. How do we decide? Our new computer can match your signature to the Volkswagen that's right for you. Swollen loops indicate a nurturing personality and an appetite for two. Perfect match, Rutan. I thought I felt nauseous. Oh my, more Rutan babies. Sign and drive is back. We select 2009 models for zero down, zero due at signing, and no first month's payment. It's what the people want. All right, everybody, before we get going, we've got some changes on the RV this year. First off, per Dwight's request, we got a beaded cover for the driver's seat. Thank you, Dwight. It's better for your back. Also, after last year's debacle, we've installed a 24-second clock in the bathroom. Nice idea. And finally, by popular demand, drum roll, please, hydraulics. Magic 76ers, tomorrow on ESPN. These are desperate times for the Huskies. They trailed Navy 16 to nothing, just 11.06 remaining. It's fourth down and one. Ball on the 10 yard line, they need this. You don't want to give the ball back to Navy. They can just burn up that clock with that triple option offense. Harnish calls his own number, gets the first down. Needed one, picked up three. This is a good job of that Northern Illinois offensive line just dominating the line of scrimmage. You know, giving your quarterback an avenue and a lane to pick up the first down. Already 63 yards on this drive. Pass to the end zone, incomplete. Looking for Willie Clark. Fans want a flag, nothing flying. I like the play call right there. Just a, a errant throw by Chandler Harness has to give that receiver a chance to catch the football. And they're gonna get a legal substitution on, on Northern Illinois. And that flag came out at a really odd time. We're going to get a replay and determine if there was 12 players on the field. Yeah, I was going to say they ran two players off and only ran one on. And, and I think the, they might have had 12 the previous play. All right, so this is an official review. This would be costly if it's against Northern Illinois. They've had such a hard time already today just getting anything in gear in this red zone. To have to move back five yards would not be fun. Okay, Sean, can we count and see how many guys are on the yeah, it looks field? 12 to me. Yeah, it definitely looks 12. How many guys along the line? Three of the center, three right of the center, four left of the center. That's 10. <laughs> 13. <laughs> it looks as if there's yeah, looks as 12. if there's nine guys up on the line. Yeah, it's 12. There's the split end of the right side and then eight guys along that line. Plus your quarterback, your fullback, and your tailback. They might have had a few too many that time. Protection was good. <laughs> All right, this is a better way of counting the 12. Here are the guys in the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's 12. Plus you got the split end and you got the fullback. It's 12. And the tailback and the quarterback. It, it's, it's 12. Yeah, anywhere you count it, it's 12. At my accredited university, it's 12. Eric, and you were taking calculus at Tulane. I was. You should be able to count to 12. <laughs> As a freshman. <laughs> and ironically, it was a substitution after the play that gave it away. Because they ran two out of the huddle and only ran one onto the field. And, and it made the official think, well, maybe they might have played that play with too many. Well, Sean, it actually should talk about this. If it is indeed determined that there are 12 guys on the field, the five-yard penalty, 
would it behoove Navy to decline it? The pass is incomplete in the back of the end zone. It's not like they're trying to... No, we're just making sure here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, including the quarterback up on that line. There's a split end to the right side, up close to the 10 yard line, where it says 10 on the field. There's the fullback and then the tailback. That's 12. I mean, unless you have a new way of counting. <laughs> Illinois had 12 players on the line. The penalty was for illegal participation, 15 yards. It will remain first down. Oh, it's a 15 yard penalty. Therein lies the difference. You're going to take the 15 yard penalty. If it's only a five yard penalty, you'd think about declining it. So instead of having the ball in the seven, they're going to have to, I guess technically the eight, they're going to mark it all the way at the 23. And Northern Illinois head coach Jerry Kill, he just has that look on his face like, well, what else could go wrong? <laughs> That's stiff. 12 guys on the field lose 15 yards. I think the penalty is severe for that because you don't want teams trying to you know, take advantage of the rule book. I don't think that was an intentional infraction by Northern Illinois, but. Having an extra man on the field is a huge advantage. Please play 1048, 1048, one o'clock. Play was an incomplete pass. Okay, we're squared away. 1048 remaining. It's going to be first down and goal. Ball's all the way back on the 23 yard line. I guess you could say. Northern Illinois has four plays to get in the end zone. But this is going to be a tall order, already down by 16 points. And Jerry Kill is incensed. Harnish with the play fake. Has time. Throws to the goal line. Incomplete. Looking for the senior, Matt Simon. Good defense played by Keetrick Buffett. Well, but I like that. I like that play call right there, Eric. Even though it's an incomplete pass, at, at the end of the day, you know, you have your wide receiver matched up one-on-one -on -one with the defensive back, and, you know, those receivers, you give them enough opportunities like that, they're going to make those plays. All right, Sean, just for some clarity, a legal substitution is a five-yard penalty. A legal participation, which is what we saw when you play with 12 guys on the field, that's the 15-yard penalty. Makes a little bit of sense, but it still is a tough nut to swallow. Anyway, you think about it. That's uh, going from first and goal on the eight to first and goal on the 23. And Jerry Kill is still trying to get an explanation for what's going on right now. Now, this isn't the first rodeo for Jerry Kill. He's been a head coach at four different stops now, and he wants to be hurt. Yeah, but I think Jerry Kill has to do like he wants his quarterback to do. You have to move on to the next play. I mean, they're not going to change it. But you have to try and, and figure out how to get your offense in the end zone in the next three plays. Snap is low, picked up by Harnish, trying to save this play. He's dropped at the line, nowhere to go at all. Ross Pospisil brings him down. It's going to bring up third down and goal. And a flag comes in late at about the 18-yard line. Don't know what this could be about. Big ball. Push the foul. Number nine near the defense. Here's the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Oh, my. What an absolutely terrible penalty against Billy Yarbrough. Not exactly sure what he did, but he just single-handedly kept Northern Illinois in this game. It was third and goal at the 23. It's now going to be an automatic first down for Northern Illinois. That's the second personal foul against Navy on this drive. And Billy Yarbrough is a senior, so he knows better. And that's one of those things that, you know, Coach Kim may get back to Annapolis. I'm sure there'll be a little extra running <laughs> for, for Billy. So, new life for Northern Illinois. 
Fresh set it out. Ball to 12. Harnish hands it off to Kreider. Ball comes loose late. Navy says they have it, but I think the runner was whistled down, and he was. Wow, what a personal foul called against Yarbrough. That's a good call. He was on the ground. And Sean, this has uh, been an ugly drive. But it still may result in a touchdown. And ultimately, they're, they're only two scores away from tying the football game. The two scores and two two-point conversions. Harnish wrapped up and brought down at the five. Tackle made by Wyatt Middleton. It's going to bring up third down. Northern does not have to get to the end zone. They have a first down at the one-yard line. Clock continues to move, coming up on the nine-minute mark. Sean, already this drive has taken off eight minutes and 20 seconds from the game clock. Third down and four. Harnish the play fake. Trying to run for it. This is going to bring a fourth down. Corey Johnson, good form tackle to stop him at the four-yard line. So once again, we're going to have another play of the game. What would work here, Sean? They need to, they need to break this thing open a little bit and figure out a way to that end zone. Well, the last couple fourth downs, what they've done is they've gone to the quarterback draw. So I'd anticipate they'll try and spread Navy out and and run the quarterback draw again. It's been successful for him. I think it's a dangerous call this close because those secondary defenders aren't going to back up. They don't have a lot of ground to cover, but we'll see. Play clock down to five. There's some confusion. And Northern Illinois is going to have to use their last timeout of the game. So Northern Illinois, they will have to play the remaining 7.58. Already down 16 to nothing without any timeouts. A crucial fourth and two when we come back. It's game time. Skybox is right up to the section of Lottie Down. How's everybody doing? Can anybody tell me what inning we're in? All right, boys, we take it back to High Life. See, the High Life is about sitting in the sun and watching your favorite pitcher get lit up. Take him out. Can't even hear me through this glass. Come on, boys. Need to smell me a hot dog or something. Just know I'm alive. Woo! Let me pass out some highlights. That's what I'm talking about. I'm comfortable in jeans that are tough. I'm comfortable in jeans that last. I'm comfortable in Wrangler. Real comfortable. Wrangler Five Star Premium Denim Jeans. Built tough with long-lasting heavyweight denim. Built comfortable with relaxed fit. Satisfaction guaranteed. Wrangler. Real. Comfortable. Jeans. Saturday Night Football on ABC. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Saturday at 8 Eastern. You look like you're about to show off your team pride by stapling Reggie Bush to your wall. Watch out. But did you know there's a better way to put your passion on display without ruining Reggie's life? Not to mention the Saints' chances this season. You can get a fathead. A fathead is a life-size wall graphic that won't damage your walls. I can't say the same for you, real-life Spider-Man. And there are over 500 fatheads to choose from. I bought my daughter and husband each a fathead. Then I figured, what the heck? I'll get myself one, too. A fathead transforms any room of the house. Oh, yeah! And fatheads are so durable, you can put them up and take them down as much as you want. I use mine for protection. Whatever your passion, there is a fathead for every fan. Bigger gifts are better gifts. Go to fathead.com now and get a gift that will make their holiday. It all comes down to this. 
Chandler Harness in Northern Illinois down 16 to nothing. It's a fourth down and two. They need to get to the one yard line to keep their postseason dreams alive. Harnish designed rollout to his left, passes too strong, incomplete, looking for Simon. It's gonna be Navy football. Good defense played by Emmett Merchant. And Emmett Merchant's had a big time game, but I just don't like the play call, Eric. You have a right-handed quarterback, you roll him out to his left. That's not natural for a right-handed quarterback. Already a young quarterback who's been struggling with his accuracy. You know, if you're gonna run this play, I think you have to run it the other way. And you can see the whole time, all he's doing is trying to get his body twisted so that he can make a good throw. Tough, tough throw for a right-handed quarterback when he's rolling to his left. So Northern Illinois, they have the ball for 18 plays. They take off nine minutes and 28 seconds off the clock but they don't score. Wow. And now, without any timeouts to stop the clock, Navy, the second best rushing attack in the entire country, is gonna have the ball with a chance to just bleed this clock dry. You think they're gonna run the football? <laughs> Each and every time. <laughs> They've only thrown one pass so far today, it was completed. So does that mean Ricky Dobbs has a perfect quarterback rating? Dobbs. Gets the first down, trying to hold on to the football as they pry it away from him. He's brought down. Tim McCarthy is tackled. Well, Ethan Cooperson, our ace stat guy, tells me that he's actually thrown two passes. One was a spike <laughs> at the end of the first half, just trying to stop the clock. So he's one for two. Yeah, if I can, one word of advice for Rick, he's got to work on the spike a little bit. He, he spiked the ball, it went directly to the right. He rolled out of bounds. You got to practice it, throw it, it bounce back right to you. There's no way that anyone practices their spike. I'm telling you, when you get to the final points of playing the position, it's the little things that matter. Dobbs using all of that play clock. But Eric, I've been thoroughly impressed with the young man from Douglasville, Georgia tonight, Ricky Dobbs. I mean, he's come out his first start on the road. And he's been outstanding. He's managed the football game. He's made plays when he's had to. I thought he's been extremely efficient and effective with the ball handling in this option attack. He's made pitches that have been accurate and right on the money. I can understand why they're so high and so enthused about him being their quarterback. 115 yards on the ground for Dobbs. Remember his first play from center, got the snap, and then fumbled the exchange to the fullbacks. That fullbacks' was... fault. Fullbacks <laughs> okay. tried to grab the football. You defend all quarterbacks. It's never the quarterback's fault. Eric Everett. Dobbs with the pitch out. Left side. Bobby Doyle stays in bounds, but it's going to bring up a third down. Tackle made by Melvin Rice, senior from Chicago. Good job by Doyle to be tackled in bounds. That's one of the things, when you have that option offense, you can't really go outside and try to bleed clock at the end of the game. Well, it's still up to the running back to when he gets to that sideline to be aware of the situation and he can get on the ground and not go out of bounds. Dobbs letting that play clock wind down. Give to the fullback. And it's going to depend on the spot. Looks like he's going to be short, well short, from where they're going to mark him down at the 26-yard line. Sean, is there any chance at all if they are indeed faced with the fourth and one that Ken Neomatololo would go for it? I want to make myself crystal clear. Absolutely not. Second best rushing attack in the country. 295 yards a game. You can't get one yard? Salt this one away? Two scores. Young quarterback that's been struggling throughout the evening to, to put a consistent drive together. You punt the football and you force Chandler Harness to drive the length of the field to get his team back in contention. All right, they're gonna wait until that play clock goes all the way down and call their first timeout of the second half. Timeout on the field, 4.36 remaining. Punt team will come on for Navy. Made from fresh tomatoes living happily together with spicy green chilies. The bold flavor of Rotel gives your queso a kick. Spice things up with Rotel. The hotter the hot, the colder the cold, the greater the demand, the more you need Duralast. Batteries built to exceed the need. 
Only at AutoZone. Please drink responsibly. Enterprise is picking us up. Sounds expensive. Pickup's free, Mom. This car for the weekend? Looks expensive. It's 50% off, Mom. You ought to rent me a car every weekend. Mom. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Phillips Norelco Architect. The shaver with a flexible head that pivots and rotates freely. So now you can easily get a close shave, even on the neck. Nothing transforms any room of the house quite like a fathead. Oh, oh, yeah! Bigger gifts are better gifts. Go to fathead.com now and get a gift that will make their holiday. A message for parents and grandparents. Aren't they amazing? Yeah. I gotta start thinking about kindergarten, a college fund. Relax. First, get them a grow-up plan. Gerber Life can help give your baby a good financial start with $10,000 in whole life insurance. It's easy and costs just pennies a day. The Grow Up Plan gives your child $10,000 in whole life insurance protection now, then doubles automatically to $20,000 later at no extra cost. Call 1-800-883-5995. Call now. Welcome back, everyone, to Husky Stadium. Sailors watching this one, enjoying it as trying to pitch a shutout. Maybe midshipmen up 16 to nothing, but they're going to give Northern Illinois one more crack at it, it looks like. They're going to punt the football away. Low line drive kick. That ball is live. That ball hit off a Husky. It's working his way to block, and it goes out of bounds. So no harm, no foul. Northern Illinois will have the football at the 31-yard line. Still time. John, as we've seen over the last couple of weeks, what both of these teams do well is recover onside kicks. They do, but in order to recover onside kick, you have to score. <laughs> and thus far in the ballgame, Northern Illinois has not been able to do that. Last time Northern Illinois was shut out back in 1999, the Iowa Hawkeyes took it to them 24 to nothing. And this has to be extra frustrating for Northern Illinois head coach Jerry Kill because Navy's not known for having a tremendous defense. What they're known for is being able to run the football and, and force you to defend an offensive scheme that you don't see a lot. So to come in on senior night and not have put, put up any points, I mean, that has to be frustrating for, for, for Coach Jerry Kill. Jason Shepler, true freshman from just down the street in Sycamore with a nine-yard gain, but he stays in bounds, and the clock will move. Navy 67th in the country and points allowed per game, averaging close to 25, pitching a shutout tonight. Harnish to throw. Passes incomplete, looking again for Shepler. Northern Illinois needing to get to 7-5. and five. To win today, they would virtually guarantee themselves of a bowl bid. But if they don't win today and they fall to 6-6, six and six, they're lumped together with a lot of other teams, and it's going to be very exceedingly difficult for them to enjoy postseason play. Jerry Kill, knowing that's obvious, this team needs to win tonight to keep going. Hand off, Kreider. And it looks like he's gonna have enough for the first down. He just spoke too quickly, it's right on the line. They're gonna have to mark this one off. Just have that first down. So once the chains are set, clock will move again. Here we go. Pass a little bit too high. Complete looking for Matt Simon. This Saturday afternoon on ABC, 
Tim Tebow looks to add to his Heisman collection as his Florida Gators take on the Florida State Seminoles. Some will see Maryland and Boston College. College football presented by Best Buy as part of Rivalry Week presented by Samsung Mobile on ABC Saturday at 3.30 Eastern. Check your local listings for the game in your area. I do like Tebow for back-to-back -back Heisman. I do not. I just think doing it week in, week out in the SEC means a little bit more than putting up those huge numbers for Big 12. I think it means a lot, but I think the success that Tebow had last year when he won the award, it will ultimately work against him the remainder of his career in college football because his bar has been set so high that they're going to compare whatever he does to that level of success, and it's going to be tough to duplicate those numbers. There's so many guys in the Big 12 that are going to be splitting all those votes in the middle of the country. Britt Davis didn't get out of bounds, so the clock continues to move. Third down and six. Passes low at the 50-yard line, looking for Willie Clark. Probably, is it, it, well, the worst thing that happens, he caught it, because the clock continues to move, and they're short of the first down. It's now fourth down. And I think this kind of goes with what we've seen all, all night from this Northern Illinois offense. Just a little too conservative tonight. You know, down 16 points, and you're still throwing four and five yard passes, you're going to have to take a chance and get aggressive. You know, give those guys outside a chance to make plays, Eric. You know, Navy calls a timeout right now. That's their second timeout. They have one remaining. They want to get the stop on fourth down and get out of dodge. Sean, the beat continues. Northern Illinois has not had a play longer than 14 yards today. They've been nickel and diming it. Well, Thursday night's college football primetime features a crucial game at the BCS standings as number two, Texas Longhorns take on Texas A&M. In a virtual tie in the BCS standings with Oklahoma, the Longhorns need a big win to stamp their spot in the BCS championship. College football primetime presented by Applebee's as part of Rivalry Week presented by Samsung Mobile on ESPN Thursday night at 7.30 Eastern. This is actually the official review, Sean, as to whether or not this is a catch. From that angle, it's tough to tell. I think in the best interest of Northern Illinois, they'd want an incompletion that gets some more time put back on the clock. Yeah, but well, because it's fourth down, I think they would rather have fourth and two than fourth and six or seven. Because it's going to be fourth down either way. Yeah, it was a third down and six, and it was a three-yard route run by Willie Clark. From that angle, it looks as though the ball actually touches the ground. I think either way, Northern Illinois is not going to be too chapped. If it's called an incompletion, they're going to have to put time back on the clock. If it's called complete, it's going to be fourth down and a long two. Put the ball at midfield. So this is it. Fourth down and two. Chandler Harnish and the Huskies of Northern Illinois needing to get this first down or most likely their season's going to be over. There will be no bowl game in their future. And Eric, I think they'll go back to the quarterback draw. It's been successful for them on fourth down previous to this. And, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if Chandler Harnish took two steps and ran the quarterback draw. Harnish to his right. Incomplete looking for Britt Davis. No catch. Out of bounds is the senior. And that'll just about do it for Jerry Kills, Northern Illinois Huskies. That's a good call. I don't think he got either one in. All he needed to get one in, but I don't think he got a foot in bounds. 
But, John, for the only time today, Navy keeps Northern Illinois from crossing midfield. It looks like Navy's going to throw a shutout. With the majority of the game, Northern Illinois crossing midfield and spending time in Navy territory. Getting a little bit out of hand right now for Northern Illinois. Dead ball, personal foul, number 53 of the defense, slamming the ball carrier to the ground. 15 yards to get run, what about first down? And the fifth year senior, Tim McCarthy, getting his money's worth. This will be his last college football game. Well, I never like to see that, though, Eric. You know, especially this late in the game. You've had all night to make an impact on the football games. Now is not the time to take a cheap shot at somebody. Northern Illinois did not have one penalty called against them in the first three quarters. Here in the fourth quarter, they've unraveled. 40 penalty yards called against them here in this crucial fourth quarter. Ten-yard carry on first down. The fullback, Eric Catani. Tani has really helped out his quarterback. The senior from Cleveland, Ohio, with 89 yards on the ground. Scored a touchdown as well, but it's really been the story of Ricky Dodds making his first ever start as a collegiate, the sophomore from Douglasville, Georgia, running for 119 yards, throwing just two passes, completing one, 32-yarder, and rushing for a touchdown. Ricky Dobbs has a real future. In Annapolis. And I think he'll definitely become a household name. If you look at maybe schedule from year to year, they play so many high profile, big time games, and he's going to get the opportunity in front of a national television audience to, to stamp himself into the memory and the minds of a lot of people over the next three years or two years. I'm sorry, he has two years of eligibility remaining. Well, Navy, they still have a game next Saturday, December 6th, in Philadelphia, game Lincoln Financial Field, against Army, against the Black Knights. In that game, Navy hoping to get back their senior quarterback, Kaipo Noah Keheaku and Hada. He's been the guy who's been the starter of the last couple of years. Say his name one more time, Eric. I'm, I'm, all, I'm older. Okay. Kaipo Noah Keheaku and Hada. <laughs> <laughs> so he, there's a chance he may be able to play against Army. And... Uh, then they have their bowl game. They'll play in the Eagle Bank Bowl December 20th against a yet-to-be-determined opponent. But look at this. They have owned the Commander in Chief Cup. They have won 12 consecutive games against the service academies. You have a feeling about Army? I know you and I have seen Army a couple of times this year. I think Army's getting better. I think Stan Brock has that university that football program pointed in the right direction but i don't think from a talent standpoint that they've caught up with navy just yet but i think in the next couple of years they'll become more and more competitive but i like navy based on what i've seen tonight and their quarterback ricky dobbs i think army may have the best runner in that game colin mooney has really been <laughs> sensational as the fullback for the black knights this year rumbling and rambling mooney dobbs keeps it Lowers the head, gets to the 12-yard line. Very, very impressive performance by Navy tonight. You know, you come off an emotional letdown of having a chance to beat Notre Dame and not getting the job done. You have a, a tremendous game coming next week against your main, main rival in the Army. This is a letdown spot for this Navy team, but they did it. They came in, they executed, they played with tremendous effort and got a win over a Northern Illinois team that had won four out of the last six games. Only losing to Central Michigan and Ball State, who we both know are outstanding teams. So take your hat off to Navy and what they were able to accomplish tonight here in DeKalb, Illinois. In the victory formation, oh, Dobbs fumbles the football. So Dobbs begins and ends the game with a fumble. <laughs> I think they whistled this down too quickly. He fumbled that football. a flag down on the field. The whole thing just looked discombobulated from the, <laughs> from the jump. They have offside defense. A member of the defense smacked the ball prior to the snap. Five yards. The replay resulted in first down. Maybe that's why he fumbled.
So the clock will wind and that'll do it. The season more than likely will come to a close for Northern Illinois. With that loss, they fall to six and six. They still are bowl eligible, but they are no longer sitting in the catbird seat like they would have been if they were seven and five. They're gonna have to really hope, cross their fingers, do all kinds of things if they want their season to continue. But there is no certainty whatsoever. With Northern Illinois, they controlled their own destiny. They couldn't get the W, and so that no longer is the case. The Navy midshipmen, they improved to seven and four. They still have two games remaining. They will take on Army. And they will also have their bowl game December 20th, the Eagle Bank Bowl. And it looks like they found a star of the season with Ricky Dobbs. Two hundred and sixty-four rushing yards on the day for Navy. It's actually about thirty yards below what they averaged, but the rushing attack was there whenever they needed it today. And I think with the limited number of possessions that they had, because they had some extended drives, they were extremely efficient, extremely successful in attacking this Northern Illinois defense, and they're satisfied with their effort and output. All right, because there are so many sailors and midshipmen here in attendance. The Navy football team is going to go over and serenade the midshipmen with uh, the alma mater. Well, on a cold night here in DeKalb, Illinois, the midshipmen enjoyed themselves greatly. We'll take a timeout, come back, and get final thoughts. Don't go anywhere, folks. Can you believe that we can text, email, surf the internet, even update your Facebook status right from the palm of your hand? At Sprint, we want everyone to experience all of the incredible things a 3G phone can do on a big 3G network. The wireless revolution continues. Come join us. Introducing the Samsung Rant for $49.99. It's the fully loaded phone on America's largest, most dependable 3G network. who want to get the most out of their cars. It's Bridgestone or nothing. Three of man's proudest accomplishments, the wheel, fire, and the tailgate. Wait a minute. Mm -mm. Something ain't right. Let's see what's going on. What are you grilling? Ostrich burger. Ostrich? And you gonna wash it down with Miller Highlight? Most certainly. You guys are five yards short of common sense. Can I borrow this beef? Yeah, Take sure, it over. Right. Pay attention. Now watch your hair. Smell how good that is? Yeah. Beef and high life and you're in. You with me? Now you're living the high life. Thank, Thank you. you. Ostrich. That's not a burger, that's a bird. To me, comfort is, is being home, being with my friends, being with my dog, Sam. But when I think of Wrangler, I think of something that uh, that's going to last. You know, you just think of something that's just going to be there and be there and be there. I guess the word would be reliable. Wrangler five-star premium denim jeans. Built tough to keep you comfortable. Wrangler, real comfortable jeans. So your computer here can match my signature to the Volkswagen that's right for me? And then you drive it away for nothing down? With just a signature. Signed and drive. All right. Curvaceous T indicates a love for clean lines and performance. Perfect match, Tiguan. I like that. Smooth strokes indicate a passion for body waxing. 
That's dumb and not true at all. This event is getting very interesting. Sign then drive us back. We select 2009 models for zero down, zero due at signing, and no first month's payment. It's what the people want. The Navy midshipmen were worried about a trap game here at DeKalb, Illinois, but it wasn't much of a trap. It was Navy doing everything they could against Northern Illinois. They pitch a shutout 16 to nothing is the final score. With Sean King, I'm Eric Collins. And Sean, we talked about it all game long. The story of today's game was the emergence of their brand new starting quarterback, Ricky Dobbs. Ricky Dobbs was dynamic in his debut for the midshipmen, and he joins us now. Ricky, I got to ask you, right out of the chute, were you nervous? You sure didn't play like it. I was a little bit nervous, but you know, with everybody behind me, I just couldn't let that take over and overwhelm me. I just had to step it up for my teammates. Hey, Ricky, outstanding job tonight. I thought you did a tremendous job of managing the ball game, of taking advantage of opportunities that the defense gave you. Grade your performance tonight. Uh, I would probably grade it at maybe a, like a 79, close to an 80, because I made a lot of uh, misreads. Well, not a lot, many, but in critical positions where we could have did something big and made something out of nothing and uh, let it go a little bit further. So, you know, I always want to give myself something to work on so I can uh, improve and get better as the uh, year goes on. Sean, it's so much fun. I'm sorry, Ricky, it's so much fun watching you run that option. As a quarterback, what are some of the things that you have to deal with on a play-to-play -play basis running that option? What are your first reads? The first read is the down lineman. I got to make sure and know where he's going or if they coming on the easy stunt. So I have to have my eye on the area with the outside linebacker and the down lineman. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty tough because you got to see two guys at once. Ricky, thank you so much. It was a whole heck of a lot of fun watching you play. Thank you. All right, Ricky Dobbs finishes with 124 yards on the ground. The Navy midshipmen, they pitch a shutout. I guess we may give a little bit of credit to the defense, too. We talk so much about Dobbs and the offense, but the defense pitched a shutout. I think it was a total team effort. Navy came out tonight. They were better prepared. They executed. They played with more energy, more effort. That's why the final score is 16-0. This is a team that has a lot of youth on it, a lot of players that are coming back. They're going to be a tremendous football team next year. Ricky Dobbs, at quarterback, I think will end up being one of the elite players at that position next year. So I know that that staff is extremely excited about this football team. All right. NIU, more than likely their season comes to an end. They finish at 6-6, six and six, a tough pill to swallow, losing here at home against Navy. Navy they still have a couple of games remaining. They will play December 6th against Army, and then they will have their bowl game on December 20th. For my partner, Sean King, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Eric Collins saying so long to Cal Bill, Illinois. For more information on this game, log on to ESPN.com. The proceeding has been an exclusive presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Collector car lovers, you're about to see some of the most innovative and exciting four-wheel masterpieces ever built, and they're all going to change hands. So. Roadsters don't get more stylish than this Mercedes-Benz 300 SL, descendant of the famed Goldwing that